Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to another edition of PZ85 Plays. I am your Game Master Double H, and a long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, the crew of the Midnight Coterie came head-to-head -head with the preeminent Sith Lord of the galaxy. We'll talk more about that in a minute. First, let's introduce, as always, your cast, beginning with the co-owner and creator of Podzilla 1985, playing Harani Tar, it's Shannon Young. Hunter, someone out there is making money drawing Mario. We'll take it over to an objectively perfect Iris Nay played by Lindsay Wolfgang. I just don't have a good feeling about any of this today. That's not the quote. <laughs> don't, don't, don't forget I about... I don't have uh, a beanie baby handy to throw, okay? Don't forget about the green man himself, Tanner Calvert, playing Sigurd uh, Talon. I've got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> and finally, Chris Cog Zubane is played by Cody Sandusky. Excuse me, I like to go by perfectly cromulent Jedi. God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> Wham! <laughs> um, so, in case you are just now uh, catching up in, in some way, this is about, as I say often in the middle of episodes, the worst possible place to catch up. A little bit. Bodzilla1985.com is the place to go uh, and, and and catch up on this whole deal. Dawn of Defiance is a oh. campaign that we've been running through the Star Wars Saga Edition for the better part of, I think it'll be, I, I'm estimating about a year and a half by the time that we get done with it. Um, and yep. we're nearing the end game. Shannon, you said things. Well, I was, them. You, you said, <laughs> you know, Bodzilla1985.com is the place to go listen, and you have been. Um, listens have yes. have been up lately. We it's like a little bit of a of a, a renaissance for us. Um, we're we're doing new things. We've got new stuff. We've got shows coming back. We're doing new shows like the yeah. Inquest. Um, it's it's a good feeling around the Podzilla offices right now. So thank you guys for for listening every week. And the website is uh, at least moderately updated, too. I had some time last week to do that. So if you're looking for an actual you know, broadcast schedule that's current and up to date, you got that. Um, the cast and crew stuff is pretty well up to date as well. So go take a look. Um, never a better time. Podzilla1985.com. We're going to do show Still logos. Going strong. Very excited about those. Still going strong. Yes. Yes. It's strong, yes. So... Um, we we are in what is known as as episode ten of the Dawn of Defiance campaign and the final arc. This is the last episode uh, called Jaws of the Sarlacc. And in our most recent installments, the crew of the Midnight Coterie made their final assault, or is in the process of making their final assault on the Sarlacc project, the Super, super Star Destroyer um, prototype that uh, they, along with uh, Senator Bail Organa and Lady Aldri Lady uh, Alia Aldrit, have have rallied the burgeoning rebellion against in an attempt to keep it from being a, a problem for the, the, again, very early rebellion. Um, the Coterie was able to dock on a Galan a defense platform, which is currently holding the Sarlacc project in, in place, uh, made their way through there and found that it was um, occupied by probably the scariest person that could have been at this point in time uh, in, in history. <laughs> <laughs> you guessed it, Frank Stallone. <laughs> um, it's... <laughs> It's uh, it's Lord Vader. It's Darth Vader himself who has. Um, well, he didn't really say why he was there. To be fair, he just said that he'd been looking forward to meeting them and that he planned to shut them down uh, in their attempt to do something about that that defense platform. Admiral Varth popped in for a minute. Vader basically said, ah, "Don't worry about it. I've got this." Um, and we had one other major reveal as well. Everyone's favorite, uh, Sex Imperial. <laughs> Rainer Sprainer, no, it's not his name. Uh, Rainer Muldrake, uh, seemingly tired of his endless uh, <laughs> sex uh, parodying. Yeah. <laughs> No, I uh, come to find out he he revealed himself as a double agent, admitting that his his um, he had privately previously admitted to Hirani that uh, his children had been murdered during Order 66. Evidently, he found that perfectly acceptable <laughs> and to further the cause of the Empire. Yeah, uh, um, I was actually going to I meant to talk to you before this about I was going to write out this thing of like, hey, let's open this episode with a flashback. Like if you're seeing this visually, like in an episode, like in an actual episode or whatever, it starts with yeah. a, a flashback. Of of Harani meeting Raynard and him, you know, winning her over and and telling his life story and really uh, pushing those emotional buttons on her, and he's the one that pushed her to be so ruthless and to kill all of the. Remember, there was that that part where she was like flying around the galaxy, killing Imperials. Uh, it was because of him, yeah. his influence. 
she really kind of leaned on him as a mentor when she had no one else to turn to and everybody kind of like was on their own thing and, and her friends had disappeared and all this stuff. So he really like manipulated and, and gaslit her and uh, yeah, really did a number on her uh, over the past yeah. you know couple of months. And all in the in the name of the Sith and in the name of Vader, come to find out he had tasked Muldrake with a, a sort of secret mission, a, a um, undercover mission to to get Harani to him, basically to get them them face to face. And so, as we ended last week's episode, Harani found herself literally between her crew and um, and the Imperials on the other side. And so that's where we ended that. Um, we went ahead and cover numbers and everything before we got started. So any other quick questions I can answer before we get into this thing? Uh, is man, it, I don't know about... Go well, ahead. I was going to say, is it starting with combat? Because if it is, I need to go make some more tea. I need to go get another cup of tea for this point. <laughs> That's probably a good time to do that. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to pretty well move you straight into to initiative yeah. roles. But we have yeah. some things to cover as long as you can listen while we do yeah. that. I, I cannot, so I'll wait. I'll wait till the initiative. That's a, no, 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 no. You're good. We'll manage. We'll manage. Okay. Or, yeah, right. I guess if you want to roll, yeah. go ahead and roll yeah. your initiative. Just yeah. roll it and leave it up there, and I'll take yours as the first one. Or tell me what the number is. What do you guys want to um, bet that I will get a nat 20 and have to go first? No. <laughs> that doesn't necessarily mean you have to go first. Remember, it's 14. a skill check. 14. Is my prediction four modifiers? You are going to roll a fourteen. All right, I got a fourteen from Cody. What else do I hear? Do I hear a fifteen? Do I hear fifteen? Fourteen going once. Fourteen going twice. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with an eight. I'm going back down. I'm going with an eight. All right, here we go. I was hoping three. All right. Ah, see, I was hoping someone would say three, a combination of three and five. (laughs) (laughs) And your initiative is Texas with a dollar sign in front of it. (laughs) (laughs) Here we go. Here we go. We got. Oh my hey, god! Oh, a fucking <laughs> 20! An actual 20. Holy shit. Oh. All right. Well, 33 it is for Harani. Motherfucker. <laughs> I called my shot too early. It's okay. It's all right. Again, that doesn't necessarily mean I mean, this is first. your Go game. Go make your anyways. tea now, and we'll take care of the rest of this. Yeah, because actually, I do want to make the first. I do want to make the first move. So I'm going to go make tea. You guys talk. I'll be right back. You're good. Yeah. We got it. We'll, we'll take hilarious. care of the things here. Um, <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> that kills me that that actually played that out. Actually that yeah. Uh, <laughs> Graz, that's the other one I was trying uh, to think And Dan, it was great um, for me because I saw that 14 on the other side of the 20. I was like, hey, I might. Nope. 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 He nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I am. Um, that was uh, a roller coaster for Cody. It was like, hey, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Very much so. I got to write out some numbers here anyway, so basically you guys feel free to talk amongst yourselves. Well, um, actually, we're, we're, talk- we're talking about uh, roller coasters of emotions. Uh, based upon a side conversation that Cruz Cog has had outside of the game, he may <laughs> this whole encounter may be a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> I'm trying to think yeah, about this. Yeah. We've got a whole big old mess to deal with right now. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Kruskog's Kr- having a lot of fun fun up in his noggin right now. Yeah, actually, Kruskog, you had uh, that. I mean, depending on how you want to handle that, that would work really well as a flashback, too. Yeah. Anyway, as uh, soon as he said the word flashback, and obviously with me messaging you beforehand, like, oh, this may be yeah. the best part to slot that in. But well, I'm assuming you, you want Shannon to hear that, don't you? What's that? I'm yeah, assuming you want Shannon to hear that, don't you? Yeah, that's kind of. Yeah, I got you. you I'm going to go ahead and start rolling some of my initiatives as well, just to get it done here. Get me a tissue box, because my nose is to being a brat tonight. Uh, See, I thought you were going to be making a Valentine's box. I was going to tell you it's way too late in the year for that. No, I just, I I need tissues, because I don't want to be gross to use my sleeve. (laughs) (laughs) Hunter, I'm married to a teacher. I get some of these random things. That's, That's, you know, that's fair. God yeah. dang it. What's going on right here? here? <laughs> Everybody's rolling 20s. Y'all playing Star Wars? Oh, there I go. <laughs> well, Shannon's not going first. Aw. Uh, you wait for him to hear that. Your boy rolled a 20. That gives him a 39. Yep, I'm writing them down. Oh yeah, I guess I guess if we're doing this, let's, uh, yeah, let's I see. Say, I should probably roll off. Yeah, may as well. <laughs> 
I don't like getting twenty. Right roll, now. Don't go in the trash can. You don't belong there. <laughs> you don't belong I, there. I could have got that twenty at any other time of the night. Not right now. Nope. Hey, eleven! Hooray! I got a twenty-two. At the rate Hunter is rolling, even with low modifiers, I got a feeling I'm bringing up. Hey, the there, beer. hey there's my hey. three. <laughs> I mean, Iris. Oh. Hey, Shannon, you're not going first, buddy. Uh, yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. I'm sitting at 17. Hey, Iris, you can re-roll. Yeah. I know. That's yeah. I'm gonna. Not oh. that I know what I'm gonna do. Damn it! Did you run? Did you roll for Gras Hunter, or was that for the enemy? Who's got the 20? I do. Uh, it's one of the. I, I'm giving each enemy category their own initiatives this time. Uh, yeah. That one is not Graz's. I've already rolled Graz's. Damn, so there's th so three nat 20s to start the game? Yep. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Wow. Although, to be fair, I had to roll one, two, three, four different four times. To get to it, yeah. Right. So, Still. Um, it's going to be a hard night, boys. What did I just, what did I just roll? A nine? Okay. Nine. Yep. Shannon, if you'd like, if if I actually ended up getting Lindsay, it. Lindsay, did you reroll? Yeah, 23. Okay. Which is still better than Chris Cog's 22. What's that, Tanner? 22! Yes, Goldberg! Goldberg! If I actually end up getting the first Why me? spot, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll concede and let you go. Thank he's you. Just, he's just screaming. I got plans. Oh, boy. I got plans. I, I don't like when you have plans. I mean, I had you a plan. worry me. I had I mean, a plan. I, I, I need you to... Need somebody to move my car and they might crush I'm... mine instead. I'm just going to put it out there just for the record. Um, you don't know other initiative numbers. Mm -hmm. So if, well, I you... said if I said if I go first. Well, but what I'm saying is you also don't know that Hirani is after you. If so it works if out that way. Delay, oh. But you don't know. That's what I'm trying oh, to tell no. you. If you delay and someone on the opposite side is next, they get to go. <laughs> yeah, go, yeah, go sure. first. No, another, no, go, go first. Like, what, what you, I'm just putting it out there. Or at least I'm not go saying in that the is order the that you're uh, permitted to go. Yeah, Tanner, don't, don't defer. Tanner, don't worry about it because no matter where you are, I'll find you. I'm done. Is everybody, by the way, looking at roll 20 right now? Uh -huh. yes. yes. No, but I, I mean, I'm right. in there. Okay, turn turn to it, please. I'm going to do a thing. Okay. <laughs> please turn in your hymnals to page. Bam. Oh, fuck, Vader's here. There it is. Well, I mean, oh, you knew he was here. Hey, just, so, just, you forgot. just because the hymnal conveniently lined up with <laughs> the happenings. Just so everyone knows what is what and what's going where, um, you guys came in right here, this set of double doors. There is no other exit from this room, for the record. Oh, it does okay. not work that way. Yeah. Um, the open spaces that you see down here, kind of in the south of the map... Um, those are reactor like cooling areas, basically the main reactor you see up in the top left there. Those, because you're on the top level of the platform, uh, it is like a three story thing. Um, so that's a fairly long fall down to the bottom, uh, and you can tell that at least one of them has uh, just like if, if you were to look down, um, has like a like a what do you call it? Like a shield, basically at the bottom. It vents out into space. Is the idea. Oh. So there's like a shield down there to prevent any physical things that, that fall just from falling out or, you know, keep the, the air uh, accurate and regulated. But that is the case there. Um, these things that you see before you are like hollow tables, um, kind of like the maps that you would see sort of in the Hoth base, like in, in Empire. Um, they are they provide some cover, but not much like you can pretty well see through them. Uh, they will not withstand too many direct hits basically from combat. There's a wall of monitors up here that you may see uh, the video screen that Varth appeared on, by the way, would be the one that's like taking up most of the wall right here. Um, and then, so you guys see where you are. I moved to Ronnie sort of in the middle, equidistant between everybody else. You've got Lord Vader, Needs no introduction. I moved Muldrake onto this side as well, uh, along with the Inquisitor. Um, these are elite shadow troopers, basically. They have lightsaber pikes. I think I described them briefly when you guys came in before. So they have, like, batons with lightsabers at the end of them. Um, or batons. Uh, bow staffs, more or less. Um, there are two stormtrooper squads that take up parts of the room. Oh, they should be bigger. I'm an idiot. I forgot 
we've used the squad concept before. They take up a larger space. Um, there are like groups of stormtroopers within them. They make one coordinated attack. They take one coordinated uh, set of damage. There's another one of those down here. And then the remaining enemies that you see in the room are Imperial officers. They are all um, they are all working at terminals of some design. And that's more or less what there is to see. It is relatively dark, but not enough to to be a low light vision situation. Um, but the room is mostly lit by that red glow of the reactor in the back there. There's like low lighting around the computer monitors and everything else, but that's. That's most of it. I I do have low light vision. That I heard that I heard that that was the case. Uh, I also just got this um, before the last game. I forgot to tell you. I have I now have a multi pass. So oh, so that's multi-pass. pretty. Did it belong to? Is it Lee Dallas's? Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Lee uh, Dallas multi pass. Multi pass. <clears throat> And I just remembered I need to make one more roll here. Okay, while you're doing that, can I ask a question of everybody real quick? Did you did we like Fifth Element? We liked it, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Can I, I admit I've never actually yeah. watched it in its entirety? It's, it's been weird. a long time since I've seen it. I'll it's say weird. That. It's weird. I, watched, I liked it a I lot it when like I was younger. Ago. I liked Chris Tucker. I remember I remember the the thing that was most like vexing to me seeing it as a kid was that it came on HBO a lot, or it came on some movie channel. Like, so I, I, you know, that was really all I knew about it. And of course the internet was not super prevalent. If really around at all, I thought it was part of a larger series. Like Mm. to this day, I I credit it with that because it feels like it's part of a larger universe and everything. But I remember thinking like, I missed something, right? This is Mm. definitely part of a series. (laughs) I don't know anything about, or like, where are the sequels? Where, what happens next? You know? It was only it years had, later man. that I was reminded Multi-pass. of it, and I was like, "Oh, okay, that's what's that's what was going on." It there. had it just a very uh, weird little movie. Tiny Zeus Lister as the president, if I remember correctly. True. Yep. Yeah. The second best presidential portrayal ever, behind you guessed it, Terry, Terry Crews in Idiocracy. Terry Cruz. Yes, I absolutely. <laughs> It's Brondo. It's what plants crave. Sure. Crave. That's right. <laughs> God damn like, it. What's the uh, 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 crap? Uh, why is his name escaping me right now? Are you now? talking about Chris Tucker? Because I literally just referenced him <laughs> two minutes ago. No. Uh, is Ruby Rod? That hair. Gary Oldman. Thank you. Who I, was, I was I was just guessing. Who, Gary Oldman was in it. Yeah. Who was yeah. Al, who was also originally going to be the voice of General, General Grievous. Grievous, right? Oh. I was waiting for a Fred Stewart bit. Mr. Brown of the Beaver Brown Band. Thank you. <laughs> My name is Fred. And in the next round, I'm gonna bloom. <laughs> anyway, yeah, who okay. gives a damn? <laughs> All right, so with all the the minutia and the specifics out of the way, everybody good? Anybody need anything before we get started in initiative? There are heroes on both sides of this. That's what I'm told, according to the episode three (laughs) crawl. All right. Um, First, because I got a lot of numbers to work with with here. First in the order. Work with. uh, First in the order is indeed Sigurd. The crab is ready. Crab. Okay. Uh, I'm going to, if I'm re, because it's hard for me to see the cube, the squares. Do I have enough to move up to this elite stormtrooper? Is it about my cube? Two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Okay. And as passing by Hirani. Shadow Trooper for the Shadow, rare, uh, uh, Shadow Guard. Shadow Guard. Shadow Guard. Think of the, the red robed Imperial Guards, but they're in black. Okay. So as I move up to the Shadow Guard, I, I like, I'm, as I pass her, I whisper to Hirani, please stay with us. And uh, I'm going to take a two-handed strike. Okay. Uh, let me just mark these guys. I just realized I didn't do that. We'll call this one red. And we'll call this one blue. Man, I miss Battlefront 2. It didn't go anywhere, man. Mm. How about a 30? I'm assuming that's versus reflex. Yes. That is a miss. That's gonna be one of those you days. Use a force point. I'm gonna use a force point just because I'm gonna try to gauge what we need to do here. Okay. Put you down to three. No, okay. he he's trocking here. I'm no, trocking. 
35. That is also a miss. Okay. Well, <laughs> what are you doing? It's a long day. Are you with Cody? Yes. Lightsaber yes. defense. Noted. Yeah, I'm like, assuming that's it. You're out of you're out of actions, right? Yeah. I like to imagine Sigurd ran okay. up like, Ugh! and then when he missed, he just went, oh, and started just, <laughs> just, just, <laughs> his lightsaber up. I mean, again, these guys are wielding <laughs> are wielding lightsaber pikes, so he literally has exactly what he needs to defend against your your blows. And you, for the first time in a, in a while, I guess since the end of the the previous, um, not installment but episode, feel that like that hum of energy and that crackle as it as it fights back against your blade. Uh, and indeed, it is actually their turn. The the Inquisitors, that is, or the, well, the Imperial Guard. Sorry. Um, as I said, I did roll different initiatives for for um, my villains, unless they're in the same class. Yeah. So uh, the one directly before you there, uh, uh, Sigurd, is going to also use his lightsaber pike to to swing back at you. Um, he's going to do this a couple of times, actually. So your reflex defense is what? It's going to be a <clears throat> 40. 40 total? Yep. Noted. That's going to hit. Son uh, of a bitch. Um, <clears throat> that one will down. miss. No way I can't sing that. We're going to get sued. No, you cannot. <laughs> you you do still have... Do you still have block as a talent? I do, actually. All right. I so you use a force roll. check, correct? Correct. When you use the force check, it has to exceed the. <laughs> yeah, it ain't it. <laughs> yeah, that ain't, that it. ain't it. Well, the good news is he's only going to get one hit on you. Um, the bad news is it's a nine d forty. That's not good. D forty. <laughs> <laughs> I like a d forty. That's a good number. <laughs> you. Oh, man, this is this is the internet. Of course, we can roll that. <laughs> You're gonna take twenty nine damage from that first hit. Oh, uh, that's not bad. Shit. No, <laughs> for you maybe not. The hell, you made it up. <laughs> right. <laughs> Packing some goddamn healing spells over here, you white mage. <laughs> um, the other one's gonna move up to here, and he is gonna flank you because he's also gonna swing on you, Sigurd. And he's only gonna get the one swing since he moved, but yeah, he's gonna miss. Even with the bonus for flanking, he's gonna miss on that that single shot. That single bonus flank is two, right? Yeah, yeah, plus two. Yes, it is. Okay, and that will be it for the Shadow Guard. Uh, we move next in the order, which is Vader. Um, <laughs> oh, good goddamn! So, yeah. <laughs> uh, I didn't expect this to be one of those things where I had to do all this stuff together, but sure enough, no matter how I roll, it still ends up being <laughs> that way, one way or another. Yep. Uh, it's super frustrating. Sorry, guys, I was not expecting to have to immediately jump into this. I just realized that they were that close together. Um, just saying, well, you could have changed that, man. Which, which poor bastard is uh, no, Lord man, I gotta, I gotta play, I gotta play the game right, you know. Um. Vader's actually going to move up, but not directly engage uh, either one. Since it's still not clear what Hirani's going to do, he's like actively talking to her the whole time and basically talking to her about feeling like her anger and her hatred, letting it flow through her. Um, but he's going to turn his attention to Sigurd. Uh, he's a Jedi and he's right there. And so he's going to throw that force lightning at him. I'll see why not. Yeah, as well. Uh, I got too many things. Open this up. Worse. I'm just gonna say canonically, this could go very bad for him. But for I've Vader? also learned not, not, to, not to say anything canon. You know, I always wondered about that. Like as a kid, I always thought, why doesn't Vader use Force Lightning? And then someone explained later, well, it's because he's got all the electro electronics. If he used Force Lightning, Force Lightning it could, it could short-circuit him. And I was like, okay, that makes sense. But then later on I thought, well, but he's not being electrocuted. So right. 
Palpatine made his suit vulnerable to electricity. Right, but that's if he's being electrocuted. And, yeah, and if he's right. using force lightning, he's not being electrocuted. Why am I doing the the little little the the what is it called? Little Chinatown, little town in China. Big trouble, in little China. Yeah, I'm doing the. There you go. Yeah, thank you, Cody. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> also, let's count all the times. There's a whole low pan shit here. Let's count all the times in the movies where the lightning was deflected back on the user. All of them. Well. I the only time I can recall that is well hell, it was Palpatine twice. The Palpatine three times? Cause Yoda no I mean uh, Mace Windu. I guess it was Yoda too, wasn't it? Yoda, Mace Windu, and Vader. But Vader didn't so much reflect it on him as he picked his ass up and it just he was old. Yoda, Yoda, Mace Windu, Vader, and Ray. That doesn't fucking count. Fuck off. That movie never existed. It counted. You daydreamed that film. <laughs> it was a collective illusion. We all for millions upon millions of viewers. Then we why is it in fooled. your Lego Star Wars? Because it's a video game. It doesn't exist. The Star Wars films are a documentary. Singer, <laughs> you're able to not reflect the lightning away, but at least to to um, tank more or less the bulk of it. Uh, you are still going to take 13 points of damage, though. Do I not get the option to block that? No, because it is not a ranged attack. Yep. Okay. That's not how that works. Dan, I don't like that you invoke documentaries. This is feeling like a very Werner Herzog as documentary. I like Werner Everybody, Herzog. That work. would be like that would be like being able to block force grip that way. It's not a it's not a ranged attack. It is effectively for in D and D terms, it's a spell. Yeah. It'd be the yeah. same if you did it. You'd have to have, and this you would have to have rebuke or whatever the light side version of that is, right? Yep. Yes. Can I, u- can I use that? Do you have that? I have that. Use rebuke. While they're deciding that, Cody, obviously Werner Herzog, rebuke, page one hundred, was also in what? Star yeah, Wars, the Mandalorian, the Mandalorian. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if you want to use that, you can. I might as well. But I mean, how many uses of it do you have? Oh, you know what? I one of the ones. You know what? It's only 13 points. I'm going to save it. Okay. So we'll save it. Okay. Sounds good. Um, Thank you for reminding me of that, Cody. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we'll I like this game. You can talk then... for me. What a surprise. Uh, no matter how many different initiatives I roll, I still get fucked. Because uh, now it's Graz's turn. <laughs> so, I'm not kidding. He Okay, so I'll just tell you the number. Sigurd got a 39. The Shadow Guard got a 38. Vader got a 37. Graz got a 36. Ah, so, damn. Yeah. Boy, I yeah, was concerned. Back to back to back to back. I was concerned that I was going to have to go before anybody. <laughs> that concern turned oh, out wonderful concern. It turned out to be <laughs> unnecessary. <laughs> Not true. Um, said, since you wrote on that. What 20. do you what do you guys want him to do? Graz is an open book. He is available to do whatever. Yeah. Uh, Let me I know what? it seems appealing to attack, but we also need to find a way to stop this ship from launching. Yeah. I would leave that to you or um, Iris, because Graz is the tank boy. He needs to get in there and tank boys. Plus, he's a Wookiee. What's he going to do on a computer? Growl at it? I'd say go for the easier targets and start sending him up towards the Imperials. I was going to say, yeah, send him towards the Imperials up here. in the. Because the I panel. have to assume either batch of these guys or these guys are going to be an impediment to what our end goal is. Yeah. Okay. So you want to send him up north toward this group, basically? Yes. Yep. Okay. Um, you want to just, like, start cutting a path, like, deal with the officers, then go from there, or what? Yeah. Yeah. Works for me. Yeah. That, that feels okay. like a Graz move. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to have him move. Um, first round, I can either have him enact the, the whole call-out thing and penalize those who don't attack him, uh, or I can have him enact Wookiee Rage. In Penalize. terms of the swift action. Penalize. Penalize. Yeah. Penalize. Let's, let's say okay. that Wookiee Rage. Yeah, Who gets dedicated as the main target? <clears throat> Vader. 
uh, refresh me. Uh, sorry, because I'm forgetting about his powers. It penalizes those who don't attack him. Anyone who makes an attack that does not include him, if they're within 12 squares of him when he kicks in the power, which is basically everybody on this side of the room, on the right side right. of the room, um, is at a minus two, except he gets to designate one of those targets to actually be at a next minus five. five. Right, okay. And that's until the, the beginning minus, of his next turn. Give the minus five to Vader. Yeah, okay. that, that makes I mean, sense. He's the strongest one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'll we go think. ahead and just do that now. I'll go ahead and do that now that he's there. Um, so we'll do... Oh, what the hell is the name of it? I don't like not saying the name of it. Call Out is the second part. What's the first one? Uh, uh, Ven- vendetta. Personal Vendetta. vendetta personal Vendetta. Yeah, so Personal Vendetta on everyone. Because at this point, everybody can see him. The hollow tables don't prevent his line of sight. Right. Uh, Vader getting the Call Out as he makes the move. I'll, have him, I'll say he did that before he took off running. And goes after this Imperial officer with his battle hammer. Who immediately shits himself. <laughs> well, he should, but this is not the best role. Um, kind of just leave this character sheet up. I can't see what I'm doing. I mean, he's got a 25 plus 25 to that. So, 33. Uh, yeah, that is actually going to be a hit on him. And sure enough, uh, this guy is wiped. <laughs> this guy's gonna oh. shit his spine because it's gonna be caved in through him. Good. He, he turns into he jelly this way. Yeah, Graz basically just sends him flying, just sends him packing. Bam, wiped out, going. You said each of those Imperials are like at terminals. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I mean to be fair, technically you can't see the ones at the far end of the room, but there's really no reason to hide that from you. So yeah, they're there. Uh, okay. 36, that's all Graz has in terms of actions. Uh, Harani, you're next. 33. Which at one point was a high number. It sounded great, didn't it? Yeah. (laughs) Sounded real fun. I gotta look one thing up real quick. I just saw it and I need to just remind myself what it was real quick. Give me one sec. I apologize. While he's looking that up, just uh, to make sure I do remember right, this is classified as a new encounter compared to our last one, correct? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. The last encounter ended. Yep. So my force powers reset, if I remember right. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, they're cool. encounter powers basically. Yep. Thanks, sir. Thanks, D and D four E. Gosh. Damn you for making me want to look at buying more books for games I may or may not run. <laughs> I'm just mm. saying, man. I liked four E a lot. I liked four E quite a bit. I, have I don't just like five E for the record. I, I think five E is great, but. So there, there's something I want to do, like flavor wise, but it's it. I think it's gonna screw me over in the long run. But I want to do it because it feels like what it would do. It's a tough choice. Do I pick a storyline uh, thing or do I want to win the game? I always go with the storyline reasoning. That's what I do. That's up to you. So uh, Harani is going to. Uh, her eyes are are taking that that sweet evil color again, and she's gonna look at Vader and say, "You want me to channel my anger?" And then she points the lightsaber at Muldrake and says, "He dies first. And then she's gonna ena- uh, use a, as a swift action use channel aggression, which uh, okay. whenever as a swift action. Oh, I'm sorry. That's that is what it is. Okay. So as a swift action, I'm going to use a force point to gain a plus two rage bonus on melee attack rolls and damage rolls for a number of rounds equal to five plus my constitution modifier. I don't have a modifier, so it's just going to be five rounds, basically. But at the end of the five rounds, I I take negative one on the condition track. So basically, she is so boiling over with anger, and she's not even looking at sides right now. She's All she knows is that he's the one that hurt her. He has to die. And then she's yeah. gonna she's gonna move toward him, and she's gonna swing at him with a lightsaber. Yeah, uh, as soon as as you say that, Vader, of course, there's no emotion to it, but you do hear him say it is acceptable. Muldrake would probably not betray his his you know look, but he's definitely sweating at this point. So you're moving in on him, is that yeah, right? Moving directly at him, past all past everybody, past friend and foe alike, right from Muldrake. Okay. And then she yeah, is, I'm here for it. She is going to swing that lightsaber, which is a... And I get a plus, t- a plus two, right? If I remember correctly, that's what it is? 
Yeah, plus two rage bonus on yep. melee attack rolls and damage rolls. So that's not too bad. Yeah. That's not too bad. Uh, is a 30. Don't know if that's bad. Yes, a 30 will hit his reflex. Okay. She's really going to enjoy slashing him. I promise. Slashy, slashy. Uh, so what would I do for the plus two to this? Just 3d8 plus 12 instead of 3d8 plus 10? Oh, you can just add Sorry, a plus two? Yeah, it's uh, so I get a plus two to damage rolls too. So would it be? I got a three D eight plus plus two to the damage bonus. So it'd be a plus so twelve. So whatever the plus bonus 10. number is at the end, yeah, you add, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. I thought you were asking if the die went up, went to a D twelve, and I was like, no, oh, no. that'd be great. Uh, <laughs> that's twenty two points. Twenty two. Okay. Got it. Moldrake did not like that. He will remember he this. <laughs> yeah, Raider Muldrake will remember this. <laughs> well, okay, for a brief period of time, maybe depending on this. Until goes. he's <laughs> incapable of remembering right. it. Oh, and she's mad too. Anything she, else? She's not swinging with any kind of like tact or finesse. I mean, she is swinging for the fences. Or a, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. She's yeah. looking that That's latter your, part of the Return of the Jedi she is fight. Pissed. <laughs> That's all your actions, right? I'm out. Yep. Okay. Interestingly <laughs> enough, it's it's. Muldrake's turn. <laughs> he's Thanks, next to the order. Yep. Um, he's going to step back, I would assume fairly obviously. Um, he's going to pull that heavy blaster of his, throw down on some trigger work, and he's going to he's gonna fire on you. Yeah. At this point, it's it, it's survival. I mean, he's just trying to keep you from, from killing him. Um, so, yeah. Here we go. I mean, he in the process, you hear him shout you know, some things about, like, don't you understand? Like, I was trying to help you. You, I don't understand what you're not seeing here. It's part of the bigger picture. Oh, jeez. No. Well, well he's going to make you understand well, real quick and in a hurry. Yeah. Like. <laughs> oh, well, that's that ain't good. That's Rangers, right. That's what you learn today. Oh, I don't have to roll it. Never mind. I just realized. I'm about to say it's just. Uh, yeah. <sighs> It's 42 <laughs> damage max Ooh, on a critical hit. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, he, Raynard spent an awful lot of time around you, and he understands exactly what's what's going down and what's happening here. So he has the ability to pretty much just pinpoint exactly where he needs to go to kind of, to, to you know, faint you. So, yeah, he takes that damage, but pretty much he spins out of it, turns around, and just fires right into your gut. 42s. Okay. Yeah. I got you. I was looking to see if, if I thought Graz had something I could use for you there, but it's it only works if it's going to kill you. Well, tell him to save it because like uh, <laughs> we don't know what's going to happen. I, I personally, like, it sucks, but uh, thematically, like, storyline wise, I dig it because, like you said, he's fighting for his life. Yeah. This this is the final showdown for him and Harani. This is right. the, the culmination of everything they've been through together, and the betrayal. Yeah, yeah. I was looking to see he can he can take lethal damage uh, once per encounter. He can move in, but if it won't kill you, that's it. So Graz can't do anything from here. Uh, across the battlefield, though, he would be like like he's like screaming now that the two of you are, are going at it, and he sees this happen. Oh, she definitely um, um, almost stumbles too. That blast hurt. Yeah. All right, well, that's all Raynard's got in him. She's mad. Um, I bet. Uh, who's next? It'd be Iris at a 23. All right. Man, that's I... a lot of Yeah. <laughs> um, Look at that footwork. I am <laughs> actually going to follow Graz's route, and okay. I want to move up to the... Uh, corner of the screen the hollow screen the first one like here yeah right there okay. and i oh do 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 i'm going to take a do. rapid shot into the what troopers do do? yeah rapid shot at which one into the troopers mm mm mm-hmm. that room with some cover fire uh huh 
All right. I can do that, right? We won't get sued for that. As long as you do it for just a few seconds. Just, just, just mix it up a little bit, you know. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy Hart that shit. Yeah, no, no, I'm thinking Not Vanilla Ice. Ding, 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 uh. ding, 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 ding. 24. <laughs> um, I'm going to guess that's a miss. Yeah, it's a miss. Yeah, so I'm using my lucky shot and doing it again. <laughs> okay. Damn it, now I'm trying to I'm trying to work out how American made actually sounded <laughs> compared 33. to the real American. That is that is a hit, yes. Shit, All how right. does American made sound? <laughs> I remember the I intro. Oh man. Yeah, we yeah. yeah. That's all I remember. What I remember is uh, American males. American, American males. <laughs> no one's gonna sue us for that one. No. 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 I mean they might just for making it. Probably will get happened. paid just yeah. for you know, bring Bob it Backwell's going to tag this podcast on Twitter just for remembering it. If you see them coming, better run for cover. Uh-huh. American males. American males. <laughs> and 41 damage. That's, yeah. cool. That's good damage. Okay. It's, pretty yeah, good it's damage. really cool. That you guys can damage. hurt people. And then Sigurd like? Graz, Kruskog, and yes, Harani, I think, is still within six of me also. You each get a plus one to your damage reflex. Your damage reflex. Yeah. Or reflex damage. It, it don't help much well, whenever you're getting hit re- with a your critical. Your reflex defense, yeah. <laughs> your reflex defense, okay, okay. Yes, I'm tired. <laughs> it's been I was a like, long I don't day. think reflex damage is a thing. But... <laughs> defense. It's that other thing that starts with a D. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Got it noted, damaged. Anything else? Um no, because well no, you know what? Battle analysis. We'll go ahead and do that. Um no one who has been hit is below half their hit points. Okay. Even me somehow. Yes. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I can't I cannot attest to that, but I will take your word for it. On a scale um, of one to ninety seven. <laughs> How would you say you feel? I would say if I take six more rat bites, that's going to be it for me. Do it for rat, rat boy. boy. Anyway, <laughs> Cruise Cog at a twenty-two. You are next. Being a rat boy, I assume I am also <laughs> last. You are not. Oh no! Yeah, you're right. There are others that have not acted. Wow. Yep. Okay. Mm. Oh. Well, Lindsay, I was going to stick with you because I feel like we're going to need to follow through here. She's got grunts, man. Yeah. I, I, well, I'm, it's less about attacking. It's more about engaging with these terminals, hmm. which is problematic because I'm you probably your worst person to do that something with. something out. <gasps> no, well, I, I mean, did. if we can get to a terminal, I can do stuff too, so. Okay. Uh, Yeah. So I'm going to press up here uh, if I have the movement for it. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Put me there. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Very good. Yes. Beautiful thing. Yes. Beautiful thing. You got uh, a double bell. Now, yeah. Damn it. Yeah, I was trying to avoid <laughs> saying it. There it is. <laughs> okay. I cool. healed you, my boy. You were healed. Vanna <laughs> uh, White, she's having a vowel movement. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Okay, uh, with six, go ahead and move me one more because I think I actually need to be up here for this. Uh, okay, tell, tell me, Hunter. <laughs> uh, based upon this current position, do I have line of sight on both shadow guards? You have line of sight on them. You do not have line of effect on both. Does that matter? Fact, you have line of effect on either. <laughs> well, it depends. What are you doing? Well, I mean, all my force powers are based on line of sight. Well, okay. Right, and that's, okay, that's why. <laughs> that's the question. It's still not the same thing. Right, and that's why I'm kind of confused. That's why I was asked for clarification. Yeah. So, I mean, theoretically, I'm going to do force grip with a modifier on it. Or yeah, you can do that without line of effect. Basically, the difference would be if you're trying to, like, throw an object. You don't right. have line of effect. You can see them because the things are... are Transparent, yeah, but you can't like throw an object through them yeah, because it's it would hit bounce that. off. Right. right, force grip is not a you don't. Yeah, have to that's the thing. I think the it. only one of my things that actually has line of effect, even though it's not written, would probably be blind or uh, I would assume ballistic kinesis. Ballistic kinesis, kinesis yeah, yeah. They're yeah. all listed as yeah, they're all listed as line of sight, but that makes perfect sense. Yeah. Anyway, I, to be fair, I may be home ruling that, but I think that just makes sense. 
He uh, does. No, I wouldn't oppose that. So, uh, included with that, all right, I'm going to break out my force secret, which is multi-target power. When using a force power that affects a single target, I can uh, spend a force point to affect one additional target. Alternatively, yep. I can spend a destiny point and affect one target per four character levels. Yeah. Call me Biggie Langston. Give me five. So are you you're using a destiny point? I'm gonna use a destiny point. I want five of these motherfuckers. Okay. So Sorry, the question I have for you before I get now. all uh, confident in my roles here is how do you want me to handle rolling five four scripts? Is this going to be a um, uh, roll one for each or roll one for all? Well, that's that is the question. Um, this game almost exclusively does when it's it's multi attack. It's roll one thing and compare it to everybody's stuff. So right. I'd say make one roll, one flat, and it gets okay. compared to everybody. Yeah, cool. So uh, just to set the scene with line of sight, also, I plan on sorry, real quick, yes. who are your targets? And that's what I was about to clarify. Yeah. So my point, okay, my goal is both shadow guards. Okay. Uh, I guess the question I would have is uh, how would Light of Sight be impacted by this gaggle of uh, stormtroopers? They they are blocking your Light of Sight and the thing like, behind them. Yes. Right, so I can't hit the, the Imperial. How many would be collectively in this unit? It doesn't matter. They doesn't matter. they count as one thing. So they, they for all intents and purposes, they count as one thing. Okay. Yes. So, so if you're okay. gripping them, they count as one collective grip. So All right, kids, let's go balls the wall. Give me Vader quick. and give me Raynard Spray I mean, and Sex Imperial. <laughs> if if you want a number, there's like four because right. they're, they're a large space, so they take up four squares. Yeah, but, four, four but meets, that's it's, not it's, that's not relevant to this. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So if that's the case, then give me um, give me the two shadow guards, this gaggle of pricks, uh, Raynard Spray and Sex Imperial. If I have line of sight. Yeah. And uh, give me Vader. I know it ain't gonna work um, on one of them. Yeah. I, this, the problem with Raynard is you really don't have line of sight to him either, yeah, though, yeah. because he's blocked by the guards. Right. Okay, that's fine. You can't, from your current position in terms of people you can see, you can get the Stormtrooper squad, yep. both guards, and Vader. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, dice don't fail me now. Hey, at <laughs> this least is the it, one fucking cool thing I'm going to get to do like this entire session. At least you're dreaming big, man, even if you I fail. Mean, I, I took it specifically for a moment like this. I was hoping we'd be in a big fight and I'd have a chance to break this out. What is it? I don't have the guts to look. 35. 35. 35. It's not great. It's not going to get Vader. It may against, get everybody else. Against, uh, that will be against, this? Uh, I believe this is against reflex defense. Let me confirm that. Uh, no, 40 shooters. Ripped? I was going to say, I think it's yep. something different. Okay, I can tell you with confidence it gets the stormtroopers. Okay. Um... It was a 35? 35. Yes. It does not get the guards. Is there anything? It does not get Vader. Is there anything I could do to help him? Well, I mean, no, but beyond that, my, well, my question would be in this situation. <laughs> no. <laughs> having rolled a destiny point, do I have a force point to use this turn or not? Yes, they're not the same thing. Right. Okay. Well, let's burn a force point. Okay. And let's roll 3d8. Fuck roll. Him up. Tanner, am I confused about something? Five. How would you okay. be able to help him? That's I don't know. 40. Like I've seen there and seen in other times where somebody is doing a roll and something, somebody else was able to help him. I was just asking. That's, that's, a, that's more for like that's those specific, are, yeah, like yeah. That's skill me, checks. That's me stuff. still learning the game. So. Yeah, that's skill checks. Yep. No, that's so just plus skill five check. makes it a forty hunter. Shit. Okay, then you do get the guards, but still not Vader. Right. <laughs> uh, that was a shot in the dark, hoping for that the was best. A long shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But yeah, all, right, cool. all all the targets you wanted, not Vader. Cool. All right, so force grip. That means I get to roll sixty-six damage, and they only get a swift action next turn. Correct. Okay, twenty-three damage. That's the best song. I got that stuck in my head now. It really is. Uh, wow, that was the red group, right? Yes, yes. red group. Yes. Okay. So, 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 pic so picture thematically, and mind you, uh, the vision that Kruzkog got in between episodes is, is still in his head and will come to play here in a moment. If we find a narrative spot, I'm going to squeeze it in. This but, is a uh, good time now. Yeah. Do I see it you want now me to break it up? I'm doing math. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You do that. So Cruz Cog, 
uh, seeing these events fold out over the first few seconds knows he must act. He must act aggressively. And within him, something that he saw after our last uh, battle that cost us Master Dimia came through. And I'll just read it as we go. Two kids, a boy and a girl, neither of which appear to be older than six or seven years old, are playing. They're dressed in commoner's clothing, but n- no, never mind. These are robes. Training robes. The robes of the younglings. They're racing down a long corridor, weaving and dodging through adults twice their size, talking about all manners of incomprehensible things to the children. Bureaucracy, political influence, and war. There is much talk of war. This is the Jedi Academy. One of the younglings tags the other playfully, giggling as he declares her it's and darts through the closest door possible to avoid her retaliation. He's too focused on closing the door behind him and keeping her at bay to notice the grisly scene behind him, now on full display as the automatic lights have been triggered. The realization dawns on you slowly, but the dawn arrives nevertheless as it's wont to do. I, Kruskog, would do anything to stop that youngling from turning around. I'm not there. I cannot protect him from the horror of seeing his classmates, his friends, all the little ones, cut down where they stood, defenseless despite the irony of their being trained to defend in their final moments. This room reeks of ozone. Carbon scoring is on the otherwise pristine walls. Wait, wait, ozone? They're still here. The boy screams. Krushkog desperately wants to scream for him not to scream. But it does nothing. He can't help but react as a child because he is a child. He's not yet a Jedi. He won't be a Jedi. And he draws him right back to them. The girl runs. Krushkog saw this vision after the loss of Denia. Not quite realizing, uh, having grown up in the Jedi Order, or working toward the Jedi Order before Order 66. He knows of this moment, but never saw it in person, never witnessed it in that respect. But in seeing this imposing figure, uh, at the end of the last uh, episode, if we're going to pull that card, Kruskog put on a a grisly face. He slid his lightsaber or lighted whip into his hand. He fired it up. He was ready to go. This was in the back of his mind. There's slight fear. There's slight intimidation. He knows this vision now is the vision of the younglings being slaughtered by the black-garbed man in front of him. He knows that Vader, the same one that executed so many of his brethren, both literally and metaphorically among the Force, among the Jedi, is in front of him now. He now knows the weight of the gravitas of this entire situation more than he has at any point before. Bail Organa's desires to rebel against the Empire, they have carried some weight, of course, as a Jedi. In no matter what level of Jedi he may be in terms of the hierarchy, in terms of his training, he knew there was purpose to it, but that purpose is now standing and posing feet away from him, methodically, electronically, mechanically breathing. Wishing him dead. Seeing him as nothing more but another youngling to slaughter. Or convert if he gets his chance. Kruskog, seeing all this play out in the first few seconds, knows it's now. He feels a surge of the force, almost as if there's a little bit of a lift from Denia. He knows she's not there in the physical sense, but he feels something empower him to know that he has to step up now. This is a moment for which he was trained to make sure the mission is achieved and that this thing, he doesn't wish to designate it as a person anymore. That is not Anakin Skywalker. That's not an individual. That is a mechanical creature, a mechanical thing. It cannot succeed. And with that, he puts one foot behind him, knowing it's going to take a physical toll, takes both hands and just reaches out toward the troopers, toward the guards, toward Vader. Knowing that last one may not work, but he's going to do every damn thing in his power to make sure he can not succeed. Hell yeah. 
Did you write oh, that? So out? I wrote that little thing. I was very proud of that. Yeah, I wrote. Okay. It. Oh, I don't know about the latter part. I wrote the vision though. <laughs> yeah, that was okay. good. That was good. Thank you. Um, Did they know Anakin Skywalker was Vader? I've always wondered. No, 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 I, no, no. Seriously, I've always wondered that. There's, there's certain parts that have come out on stuff. Like it's not always immediately known, but there are people that are aware. Because like uh, uh, Ahsoka knew when she fought Vader. Uh, no. Right. Well, not- she knew because his helmet got cracked. How would she? Well, but he was. She bald, cracked his helmet. But he was bald. He could hear her. She could hear his voice too. Yeah. Oh, okay. But even she didn't know right away. It wasn't until yeah. she but then he him. sounded like a, a deep old black. He's an old black man named James Earl Jones. Was different. I was. <laughs> I always. I always wondered if like what because they didn't really get into it much in the movies of what happened to Anakin Skywalker. They just, even Obi-Wan said that Vader killed him, but no one ever said Anakin Skywalker was the monster that murdered all these kids. They just, it was never spoken about. You gotta think the only ones That's why we're getting an Obi-Wan series. Anyway. The only ones who knew about it were the ones who were there at the temple. It was, that was just... And they ain't saying nothing. You know why? They did. It's like them kids. Well, one of them. Anyway. Uh... (laughs) Ah, uh, so Anakin. sorry, Cruzcog. Do you have any any other actions? Was that it? Uh, you moved and attacked. Moved and attacked. I do. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I've been hoping to uh, to break this out. I'm gonna go ahead and just use uh, my reaction. Oh well, no, it's reaction. So no, I can't right now. But I do have something okay. in my back pocket. <laughs> okay, noted. Um, so to hand wave some other stuff, the stormtrooper squad that you have gripped, which by the way, for a minute I gasped and I was like, <laughs> oh, that's bad. Um, Squads like this cannot be grabbed or grappled, but I looked over the power. None of this says they're grabbed or grappled. Right. So effectively, they're being choked. It's mm-hmm. not the same thing. They're not immobilized. They can still move if they can move on a swift, which they can't. So right. I'm pretty much just skipping them. Um, the other squad, however, moves on this last initiative. They're moving up. They've taken a shot, uh, a series of shots at Hirani. Hirani, what's your reflex? Uh, Lindsay, you gave me a bonus, right? You get a plus one. Uh, 38. Okay, then they missed. Um, there, there's a series of, of blaster fire that goes by. You actually see Vader turn and sort of halt them. In other words, like, let this play out. Uh, but they're moving on instinct. You can tell that they're just trying to block that hallway up. Uh, and that is the end of the initiative order. And that is the end of round one. Holy shit, so that, was go, round one. that was round one. That was round one. round one. Yes. So we go back to, see, the good news is we got everything established now. So hopefully it'll move a little swift right. going forward. Um, we go back to the top with Sigurd. I'm going to attack red three times. Okay. Two-handed strikes, so... Where's that? You're just doing that Luke. Just... I'm about to say, yeah, it's that battle with, with Vader Wait, in return. On. 43. Yeah, that's a hit. 35. That is a miss. Come on, Tanner. And 24. That's obviously also a miss. I'm going to use a force point at 35. Okay. For the record, remember, you cannot then use again a force point until the start of your next turn. That's fine. Uh, Six of 41. Yeah, that's a hit. So two hits. Twenty-five damage. That's the wrong one. Please ignore that. <laughs> it's a D twenty. <laughs> and twenty-seven damage. Twenty-five and twenty-seven. Five and twenty-seven. Okay. Fifty-two. So effectively, it's fifty-two. Mm-hmm. Fifty-two pickup. Got it. Anything else? No, it's full. No, round you can't. Action. That's full round. Yeah. First time using the okay. three three attack round. round. That's uh, yeah. Got it. Okay. All right. Um, so after you, then two would be the Imperial yeah. Guard, both of which are uh, tied up. And I thought I was going to have a little more time to look and see what they can do on a Swift, <laughs> but I didn't. So now I got to figure that out real quick. Um, the prequels were a lot better 
than the the last three films. Stop it. I agree. They just are. Like I, I want to go back and rewatch them because ever since I started playing Lego Star Wars, I appreciate a lot from the original or the uh, prequel trilogy a lot more. And like, I'll even say, minus a few things, the Phantom Menace isn't as bad as I always thought it was. I really want to watch Phantom no, again. No, it's pretty bad. Because I want to, I want it's to, pretty bad. I want to look at it through my eyes again and see if it's as bad as I remembered it being. Um, no, I will gladly bad. rewatch it all with you, Shannon. Because I, I, I I'm look, even a little tried- more forgiving of Jar Jar after reading Ahmed Best's story and how he almost killed himself after what happened with that movie because he got so much hate. I kind of want to go back and look at it with fresh eyes. Um, so I'm willing I, uh, to give another chance. I just got on rewatching everything again, and I try to be forgiving on Hayden Christensen's portrayal of Anakin, and I just I don't like it. I always liked Hayden Christensen as Anakin. I don't understand the hate he got. Like everybody's like, oh, he's like a spoiled brat in part two. Yeah, Anakin Skywalker yeah. was a spoiled brat in part two. That's kind except of- he was still acting that way in part three, and he was supposed to be much older. But that's the point: is that Anakin was? They even said in the first movie he was too old. Like he he. I mean, if- he did not grow up Look, as, as a perfect good as Jedi. The portrayal of Anakin was in Clone Wars. Well, that's, that's so as he was getting to the end of Clone Wars, though, going into the third film, it still makes sense. And plus, it's unfair to compare uh, two films versus an entire TV series. You got way Look, more time saying, to flesh I'm just him saying, out. Cartoon Anakin made sense to give him a Padawan. And movie Anakin never deserved a Padawan. He did not need that. Um, real quick, Cody, Cruz Gug, I was trying to say if I was going to ask out a character or not. Um, uh, force group isn't considered a debilitating condition, is it? No, that's fine. It's, fine. it's not. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, then for both of their swift actions, since that's all they can do, both of them are going to enact force harmony and enact their damage reduction 10. So they will take 10 less damage from everything that hits him hits them until the start of their next turn going forward. That's smart. Um, That's they nice. had an option for <laughs> equilibrium. And if it was, if it was a debilitating condition, I was going to be like, Oh no, it's not. They're nope. free. <laughs> Cause that's mm-hmm. what that does. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Don't then like they that. had the rest of their turn too. Yep. Uh, like it's also a yeah, good so movie. No. Sorry, there's a movie. Equilibrium. I don't really remember much about it. Chris, Christian Bale uh, in a future where you can't have emotions, and it it. Oh. Uh, but it was the original was one okay. that did that, and they did Gun Fu. It was okay. Yeah. Or Gun Kata, I think is what they called it. I forget. Oh, I'll be right back. All right. Yeah, it was okay. Um, but it might be right, your turn. So Vader. Well, it will be in. A f- no, no, hell, he just took his turn. It's yeah, he just went. The problem's going to be if uh, he gets hit, which is entirely <laughs> possible, um, because Vader's going to Go pretty ahead, much I'm advance right on him. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> yeah, because Vader's advancing on you. You're right there. Um, yeah, he's going to move straight up on you, uh, and he's going to let's uh, excuse me, let's go to work. Um, Flash to the left. What hop this Flash time? Back, y'all. Your reflex is 40. Is that correct? Plus the one that I, plus the bonus I gave him. 41, yeah. 4D1. Oh, I thought that was plus that already. Okay. Uh, all right. So moving in and. Perhaps I'll curse you like Dan Housen. Sure I'm doing this right. Oh, I hate Dan Housen. Mm-hmm. Oh. I don't oh. hate Dan Housen. I don't hate him. He's all right. He's fun. yeah, you do. Yes, he's, you do. No, he's no, very nice. Lie. He's very evil. We'll have we'll have words after this. He's very nice and very evil. That very is evil. true. Well, God, God, God. damn, oh. being cursed, <laughs> the dead don't die. Um, that's like this still feels like a good time to point? mention it. I'm just gonna put it out there. Yeah, I said right. it before I could. Destiny, you have one that you can use. Let me use that. So, um, oh, you're going to hate me, but I'm going to do it. You're going to enact your destiny point, and you Vader's going to enact his to to counteract okay. it. Okay, no. I've got to go. I'll be right back. Yeah. No, you won't. Yeah, he's the one and only PC I gave a destiny point to. Well, it's not true. Some of the others did, but they, they have long since passed. So how does that work? So it, they, they cancel eight. each other out. Yeah, because he basically gets an automatic crit for that. Tanner used his to. You can use a destiny point to automatically negate an attack. 
And you can also use a destiny point to automatically get the best possible success on an attack. So pretty much those two wipe each other out. So it's just going to be, it's going to be full damage. God. Oh boy. Um, Again, because, oh man, I'm very curious what the stat block is for this dude. You don't want to know. I'm, I'm not but right he now. He does no. want to know. <laughs> not right now. Don't. No. After we get done I dying, need, I do. Do you guys want the number before Tanner gets back? Oh yeah, eighty-four. Hundred and twenty. <laughs> Jesus, it's Sephiroth. Awful this point. lot. 99, 99. <laughs> well, I mean, it's Darth Vader. If anyone's going to be fuck all, it's him. <laughs> well, to be fair, he's just using his lightsaber. So, I okay. mean, right, but he's pretty trained in. So, okay. All right. Legit- yeah. Legitimate guess. Legitimate guess. I'm going to guess yeah. 68. That's pretty good. That's a good I was guess. I'm thinking about 84. I'm thinking this is going to be absurdly high with max damage. Because <laughs> remember, this is a crit. This is maximum damage he can inflict. Yeah. That's true. Lindsay, I mean, lightsaber is typically 2d10. So that's twenty right there, and then modifiers. But so because this is Vader, I'm sure there's probably something else. So I'm probably way too high, but I will invoke my guess of eighty four. <laughs> Lindsay, what do you think? I said sixty five, but before Shannon said anything, so I'm already on the low end. Probably. Oh, okay. I'll change my. If you said sixty five, I'm going to change mine to one dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Most points not going over, and totally. <laughs> um. I mean, he's not gonna he's not gonna die from this. So I'm just gonna write it down, and I'll tell everybody when he gets back how much he it's needs to take. Be painful. <laughs> hey, there he is. Good news, buddy. You're not dead yet. Yeah, you're not dead. Don't worry. Sigurd takes 66 damage. I okay. was oh, on are you the serious? money. <laughs> <laughs> takes 66 damage. Well, Sigurd, now me and you have both been critical shot just immediately. I can't wait for Muldrake to kill me as I'm, as I'm moving what toward him. What character that will be Imperial. the goddamn Sex Imperial? Except <laughs> that that was all an act also, so he's not really the Sex wait, Imperial. Wait, does the Sex Imperial get to have a, a free action to remove his clothes so he can be in that uh, David Duchovny <laughs> pose before he murders a He just lays down. He <laughs> <laughs> just um, Sigurd, being this close to Vader is is like... In and of itself, aside from the the vicious lightsaber strike, is almost physically painful. Like the the amount of dark side energy that he is basically radiating is is painful to be in his presence. And at this point, you are surrounded like by him, by his cronies. Um, it, it it is wearing on you, and so you feel that Vader, like that brief moment of fear, creeps in, and that's what allows Vader the opportunity just to to get right through your defenses. Um, he even says something like as you as you take that blow about feeling this pain and allowing yourself to succumb to it. You know, he he gave you the opportunity. All you have to do is throw down your weapons. How how quickly can we throw down our weapons? Do we have to wait till our turn? <laughs> <laughs> Swift action. <laughs> no, if you, yeah, I mean, if everyone wants to do it, I'll just make it happen, and then that's the end of the game. But yeah, otherwise, it's, yes, it is. A, it's a that swift would, action on your turn. That would actually be kind of nice. <laughs> oh, so okay. then we can just automat- automatically be murdered afterwards. <laughs> um, Graz is next. What do y'all want him to do? Keep attacking. Put, uh, put Sigurd out of his misery. <laughs> Okay, I guess. Uh, I want to say go let him attack the blue guard. That's partially what I'm thinking. With this one Imperial guard gone, or the Imperial officer gone, I'm hoping, and I assume Hunter will probably have to do a perception check to prove this, that one of those terminals is open for accessing. Yeah, the one that he was on, I mean, he basically died and slumped forward onto. It would take nothing to just brush him out Shut of the way. Off. Cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I mean, yeah, if Graz hammers forward, hopefully if I can hold these troopers for until your turn is over, then yeah. Uh, Iris, I just need you to start working on the terminal. That was my plan. Cool. So yeah. you want Graz to try to wipe out boy. Red? Or, oh, yeah, come down yeah, here? You, yeah. Shadow Guard. I yep. mean... Oh, okay. I feel yeah, like they're a bigger guys. threat right now to... with yeah. Sigurd. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because yeah. uh, yeah, Irish, Irish will at least be able to get through your turn before they can do anything, and all they have is the swift action because it's you, them, me. 
the pain yeah. is, or no you me them so yeah the pain is definitely happening down here yeah. um do you guys want him to do call out vendetta again <laughs> this is the second time that it's like that's a handy skill unless they critical each time it's but it's still a rage. handy skill yeah no, well, no, yeah, Wookie Rage. You're in, you're, you and Tanner Actually, are in the thick of it. What yeah, do you want? No, no, I would say still do the, the call out thing because short of, of fucking David Duchovny getting another critical, I'm still going after him and I want to make sure he has less of a chance to hurt me. Okay. okay. So who gets the call out? Everyone gets the vendetta. At this point, it also includes the troopers coming up, it looks like. I still say Vader. I still think Vader is the uh... because it goes okay. through. It goes through his tur- next turn, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 So, to so, the start of Graz's next turn. So it'll be Vader's turn again before Graz is up. So yeah, I'd say Vader. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then I'll have him move in on the guard, and I'll have him uh, swing swing that hammer. Want me to bring the hammer down? With a twelve plus twenty five, that's a thirty seven to hit, uh, and that is indeed a hit. Damage is 2d12 plus 15. I don't like being scared of high numbers not being good enough. <laughs> this, this is it, game. That's high level play. No, 2d12 oh. plus 20 because it's two handed. 2d12 plus 20. 34 damage to blue there. 2d12 damage. That's beautiful. It's, it's not bad. No. I, don't, I don't hate it. Not a bad deal. I mean, seeing as most of Cruz Cog stuff is not force, it's 2d4. <laughs> Uh, He's not progressed slash the past the uh, the pyramid die. Okay, so that's it then for Graz because he moved, used a swift, and attacked. Uh, we go to five, and that's Harani. Uh, same thing. Move forward on uh, old Sprainard, and she's gonna attack. Okay. Now I need Sprainard. I need a twenty here. Swing yes. high, <laughs> sweet lightsaber. I need going a 20, forth so. to murder this guy. I did not get a twenty. No, uh-uh. I got a twenty-four. Motherfucker, it's true. Um, and three I'm force happy points. That you said it. Two force points, because I had to use a force point to do that. Um, one ability. Yep, that is correct. You have two force points. I got to keep my mouth shut. Um. <laughs> I don't know how high level it, oh, you know what fuck it we're all gonna die anyway what is it 2d6 3, Three. Six. Three. 2d6 take the highest hey hey That's 30 that is a hit appreciate that <laughs> <laughs> okay. now I need all three dice to be eights give me that yes nope. gotta get that no. 23. <laughs> That's still not bad. Just slashes him again. Angrily. Yep. All right. Noted. Anything else? You got a swift left, technically. Um, gotta get that. Hmm. Does anyone else need to move anywhere? <laughs> uh, no. No pig. Uh, a no pig. Uh, I want to impel Vader to move off of the map. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if only it worked that way. <laughs> off his own damn ship. <laughs> Get the well, to be fair, remember, you guys aren't on the ship. You're on the We're defense on the platform. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Get out of here, yeah. you fucking nerd. Um, <laughs> Actually. <laughs> Uh, I think that's it. I know I've got... Uh, I can't... I think it's a standard action. My mouse is dead, so I have to... Conserve, I don't know where the charge cable is. I got 1% on Aww. it. So I, ca- I can't move around Sad. right now, so I can't look anything up. I have an ability where I can point at someone to say, hey, everyone attack him. But I think that's a standard. I think the only swift thing I can do is impel ally, unless I'm wrong. I don't think I am. So yeah, I think that's What's it. the name of the ability? I can just Google it. Um... Let me see if I can... Inspire. Is it Inspire Wrath? I think so. Uh, that's that's where you get to say, fuck this guy, and yeah. we get extra In hit particular. points towards yeah. them. You're yeah. right. It is a standard action. Okay. Yeah, then I don't have anything left. Yeah, that's a standard. Okay. Uh, then that would bring us to Raynard, who, of course, is going to continue stepping back. 
um, and and continue firing right at you. That time not going to be so good. Your uh, reflex again is a thirty-eight. Uh, thirty-eight, and he's got a negative five or a negative something, doesn't he? Negative two. Negative two. Minus two. Yeah, because he's not attacking Gross. Yeah, it, it, he missed. He missed one way or another. He's panicking um, now. Yeah, you you actually can very much tell that he is panicking. Um, with his swift action, however, he is going to. Um, it's not inspire wrath. What's the uh, what's the other what's that fucking ability that he has? You got his thing. Give me the name. <laughs> hold on, I gotta turn my mouse on every time I do something. Hold on. Oh no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm breaking oh, down. Hold on. I'm breaking. My batteries breaking are breaking. Down. Down. What kind of charge cable does it take? Uh, it's an Android, but it's a specific one because of the size. Um, oh. So you're probably thinking of either born leader, coordinator, trust. Those are the three he's got. Well, you know, his time and his clothes got to coordinate. <laughs> no, coordinate's a standard action, so it's got to be born leader. Um, I had it written down, and I forgot to write down the actual thing that it did. I wish now that I hadn't turned this him, because I gave him good abilities. He's now using yep. So me. he's going to use his yeah he's going to use his swift action to grant all of his allies uh, a plus one inside attack on on uh, or plus one inside bonus on attack rolls. So that will be for the troopers, for the two shadow guards, and for Vader. Um, yeah, Vader even gets that even though he's not leading him. Uh, but basically, yeah, he's telling everybody like pretty much help me, you know. <laughs> Hurt them, hurt them, help me, help fight me. Fight them, fight them, help me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, then seven is Iris. I want to move over to that terminal and whatever I need to do to make sure these tractor beams keep the ship on this dock. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to delete that guy. Uh, so yeah, basically you're able to throw that, that deceased officer out of the way. Um, it's going to require a used computer check. They have started the process okay. of powering down the tractor beams. So it will require you use computer check to reverse that process. I got a 34. A 34 is good enough uh, for you to reverse the, literally reverse the process. Basically, you just grab hold of the lever, shove it back forward. Um, one of the five tractor beams is now back at full power. But you okay. know that the others not being in play will not, not suffice. You're going to need all five of them fully powered up. Gotcha. Which means we yep. need to hurry up and get on the other side of this map. That, for yep. the record, is just a move and a standard. You do still have a swift. Why? We'll do There's... battle analysis one more time. There's five terminals okay. right there. That's we'll not what you he means. Can... <laughs> Isn't you it? You can see. No, unfortunately, one... I think each of these Imperial officers represents a terminal. Yeah. Uh, let's see. You can see. You can't really see Raynard. He's behind them. How would the... the troopers. How would the agent represent a terminal? They're operating them. But three over I there. I would assume. Three. Four. Um, the, the red Imperial Guard is below half his health. Okay. He is the only one that you can see who is below half health. Okay. Yeah. And that's all I got. And guys, I'm sorry. Since I didn't shoot, you don't get a plus one this round. Okay. I'll erase it. I was actually going to ask Cruz that. Cog, you are up. Uh, Cruz Cog has a question, probably several, but more to the point. Uh -huh. uh, how would multi-target, because I went multi-target power, how does that impact continuing force grip? Or does it in any way? Um, how do you continue it? I don't remember. Hang on. I'm looking at it. For force grip, I have to re-roll. It's a standard yeah, action there. to re-roll to use the force check. But because I'm using this basically... Super same. It's the same grip. It. It's the same. I, I mean, my understanding of it is it's the same grip. So yeah, yeah maintaining a force grip is a standard action. You make a new check. So, so it will only continuously these. potentially affect the same people you already had. Right. Which is no, that two. was my thing. Is if it would be the ones or if it would be just basically no, narrowed down to you, one person. Yeah, you make the check and and yeah, no, hold the three. Okay. Uh, well, here's hoping. Uh, well, that ain't going to do it. That's a 29, so I'm going to go ahead and burn a force point. Okay. Which puts me down to one. Leaves me an eight. Eight. Okay, so that is a 37. Or no, 
Yeah, 37. So unfortunately, 37. I don't think that Im- impacts uh, that 42 defense. So I don't think it impacts the guards, but. Actually, it does. Oh. Yep. Three. Yep. So you maintain all three. All right. That's a standard action. So I got a swift and a move left, and I don't mm-hmm. really think I can do anything with those. You drawn your weapon? I did this. I mean, thematically, I did the start. I haven't actually okay. done anything with it. I was just going to say, if you're not going to use them, we could just say, oh, you didn't have it. Now you do. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. As cool as my light whip is in terms of game mechanics, it doesn't actually do much. And I got to be real close to them, and I'm really not going comfortable with that. So I don't think you've ever used it. I know. <laughs> Maybe once. Because it has the whips cool... are weird, man. Whip, whips are, and this is like any tabletop game. D and D whips are weird. Yeah, Star Wars whips are weird. Like they're, you know, they're very cool in Elden Ring. Don't get me wrong, but they just don't deal enough damage in a lot of yeah. tabletop games. Even even a light version of it. So yeah, literally, because I mean, they're my, more my... about manipulation. Yeah, my light whip is two d four plus eight in terms of damage. So it's not big yeah. damage. The biggest benefit of the light whip is that I can do pin and trip without a feat. So I could basically grapple yeah. people and it let like Graz come and hammer them into the ground. But right. in the late game, getting that close to people has been very uncomfy. Is it is it still a lightsaber beam? Yeah. How would you grip them with that? Wouldn't it just tear through them? That's I think just more a game mechanic thing. I'll defer to Hunter on how that is. But <laughs> Sorry, I think I'm asking. Yeah, I'm asking. It's weird. I'm asking yeah. stupid questions. Lightsaber physics. Yep. It's one of those things that you can't think too hard about, or it, or it doesn't it doesn't hold part. Up. If you think too hard about it, it goes. Oh, hold on, hold on, wait. <laughs> I'm breaking down. <laughs> hold on. Oh, hold on, I'm breaking down. Okay, um, the troopers once again. The red uh, squadron is <laughs> red squadron is locked down. They can't do anything. Um, blue squadron is squad- squadron. squadron. Blue Squadron is available uh, to move, but they've been ordered not to fire on Hirani at this point. Um, so effectively, they are just there to hold the hold the space. Um, so yeah, they're gonna they're gonna pass on their turn. Weirdly enough, um, and that is then the end of round two. Back to the top of the order with Sigurd. Okay. Oh, Sigurd. I'm assuming that 66 damage was over your threshold, wasn't it? Yeah. So that means you're down a step on the condition track, too. Yeah, so I'm going to take... I I shouldn't mention this, but um, the attack that Muldrake hit me with was also over my threshold. Then you are also down a step on the condition track, yeah. I I hate myself. (laughs) I would like to use my second wind. Okay. Are you below half health? Oh, yeah, I guess with that 60, yeah, never mind. I don't know why I'm asking the question. I know you've been pummeled. Uh, Not like we were coming in here 100%. What do I, what do I get back? God, I'm, four, I'm, I'm it's, looking. It's a fourth of your health. Uh, it's a swift action. You can only do it once per day. So I'm assuming you haven't done it any other time today. No. Uh, you get one, yeah, one quarter of your health rounded down or your constitution score, whichever one is greater. So 155 is my total. Oh, a quarter of that. Yep. <sighs> Rounded by four. Rounded down. It's 38 points. Yep. I'm assuming your constitution score is not a 38, or else you wouldn't be needing a second win. So <laughs> This would be going very differently. All right. Well, I'm up to 85 health points now. Yikes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the dice have really not been kind to us in this fight. Uh-uh. I mean, when Darth Vader gets a critical hit, like... <laughs> and, yeah. and a sex imperial. He, he's he's honestly <laughs> good to not be dead. So. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. this could have gone far worse. Two-hand strike on the uh, Okay. 40. Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm-hmm. This is the first time Vader's been struck, isn't it? No, red. Red. he's, he's oh, still hitting okay. red. Got gotcha. you. High numbers, high numbers, high numbers. Yep. 
We would like high numbers. Those are not high numbers. <laughs> nope. Still 27, 27 damage on red. Okay. Yeah. And since I didn't use a move, can I use that as a second swift? Yeah. You can Light. trade your move for a swift. Lightsaber defense. Okay. Wait on that one. Noted. Uh, no, that's it. You're out of actions. Uh, then it is indeed their turn. They are both still gripped. Um, oh, yeah, that reminds me. Damage reduction. We don't like when you're reminded of things. <laughs> well, that's they spent their last turn enacting their damage reduction. Um, oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, which is what they're going to do now. So any damage they took, I'm busting it back up by 10 because I forgot to do that. Um, so, yeah, they're just going to spend their swifts doing that again. Literally, that's all they can do. I'm, try, I'm trying. I'm, I'm holding. I'm holding them uh, still. You just, you just I mean, keep holding them. Yeah, better that than letting them attack. All right. Um, three is Vader, and given his positioning and his current situation, I, I think he has little choice but to just try to put Sigurd out of his misery. So oh, please do. I swear to God, if it's another twenty, <laughs> actually, if it's another twenty, I'm gonna, I'm gonna laugh. I'll laugh a little bit. If it's another um, 20, I'm signing off. <laughs> Literally. Well, I mean, if it's another 20 again, you said you have 80-something hit points. Yeah. So you have 66 live. damage. Yeah, you yeah. wouldn't fine. die. You'll be fine. Uh, ooh. Also, I'm going to look up something really quick. Sorry. No, you don't. Please, Please don't. Don't. <laughs> don't. Don't do it. All, all of us have been in unison. Now, he does. This, this frog is impelling you not to. <laughs> He, Look he, at that frog. He does have I mean, a I negative frog. He does have a negative five. That's true. He does. Look at uh, this frog. This negative, frog wants Sigurd to live. <laughs> oh, negative four because of fucking Maldrake. I created yep. him. <laughs> you you created the very thing that you were sworn to destroy. Except I think you. Well, I was gonna say I think you buffed his health, but no, maybe not because he. I don't remember. I don't know how much health he actually should have because I never actually leveled him up all the way. So, I'm using a template for an imperial officer. Oh, <laughs> boo! I, I never work? had any stats no. for him, man. I didn't have any stats for him, so I can't just start making stuff up. So I'm just, using that for an imperial no. officer, and I'm adding a couple of extra things. Just use him at the level I had him at, which was like 13. <laughs> 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 well, it's worth a try. Now who's not? Now who's not doing the extra work? Now who's stupid? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I guess oh. that would be a terrible idea. I'm not going to try to do that. Um, but I am going to try to do this. Uh, what's your fortitude defense, Sigurd? 34 currently. 34? Yeah, 34. His constitution's not very high. Oh, yeah, for fortitude, yeah. Sorry, I was thinking reflex. Yep. Sorry, I was like... Yep. All right, well, Vader is now force-gripping you. So cool. You will only Choke get a me, switch Daddy. action on your next turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's a Jedi choke-off. Please don't that, call that, me. Please, no. Nope, mm. no. Oh I get to make one very that's, bad joke that does not get I, any that, laughs I'm per like, session. That's... You take I, I, 13 damage. What must his like bonuses that's a be? Rainard thing. <laughs> Who do you think taught him? <laughs> and then, uh, oh no! And your reflexes of 40. What is it? 41 total. Yes. Okay. I think you might be safe on this one. 41 backwards is 14. Chuck, yeah, man. you're just you're just <laughs> choked. You you are you are being gripped. Uh, Vader basically advances on you now that you're you know actively fighting his gripped opponents and pretty much just again now that he he's got you locked in place, he's just telling you just stop fighting, just stop fighting it. You hear through that you know through that robotic mechanical uh, mass, just just stop fighting. Lay down your weapons. Okay, um, I think Vader. Vader. Rainer should take a penalty. All this choking that's going on, he cannot contain his erection. <laughs> and it's distracting him. 
<laughs> Hit the bottom of the table. It's ridiculous. It, it, <laughs> he's got a lightsaber in his pants. Do you guys want? Do you and guys want Grimes to continue to try to take out the the blue? Trooper? No, yeah. Vader. Vader. Fuck you guys. Those I, don't are, want to send, I don't want to send Graz against Vader. Those, well, are, thing. those two are being uh, choked and like are taking reduced damage. Vader is actively fucking people up. Go after true. Vader. Well, if they're act. Mm. Well, here's the thing. If Vader, if Vader is damaged, he has to roll a con, a con save. Basically, he has to make a con save to maintain the grip. Yeah, there's no reason oh. to go okay. after those guys. Oh, yeah. All right. To borrow, to borrow from DDP, you come in and you go after the biggest Sith in the yard. And to, to go after Scott Steiner, I don't have a fucking Sith. Fuck. Give me a fucking saber. Wow. I did him an egg. All right, so is Graz going to use his call out and such again? Yes. Okay, go Wookie, go Wookie Rage if he's moving up on Vader. That's up to you guys. I like the call out because then it helps me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fuck it. Wookie Rage him. Wookie you know Rage when him. You put it like that. Because <laughs> you're not All wrong. Right. Wookie Rage is active, so he now gets a plus 30 to hit, and his damage is 2d12 plus 25 if he hits. Okay. He's going to swing on Vader. <laughs> that is 47. That is 47. Is a, a 47 hit? to hit, and that actually is a hit. And it was scared just like me. I don't like the way you said that actually is a hit on 47. <laughs> it's Darth Vader, man. What did you expect? 45. Okay. Rolling high. Go. Yeah, that's a good that's a good number. That's a good Wookiee. Okay. Seven, uh, so, okay. So when does he, then, yeah, when does he so, have to roll to hold me? So uh, he now has to beat a DC 60 on a use the force check. Uh, 60! Yeah, because yeah, but you got to figure he's got some crazy bonuses, though. Well, no, because that's what it, Lindsay, what it is, it's, it's 15 plus the damage taken. Oh, okay. Yeah, if I, I'm assuming force grip for him is the same thing it is for me. Yeah, I mean, the yeah. power works the same regardless. Yeah. Um... Unfortunately, he rolled a 19. <laughs> right. So, with his 11 yep. billion modifier. God. Damn. Yeah, he's going. He's going to maintain that grip, Shit. but it is. It is like very close. In fact, Cedar, you start to. You feel it like start to weaken. You think you're going to be loose, and Vader basically just tanks that hit, turns, swings his saber at, at Graz to get him to like back away, even though he takes that damage uh, and maintains his focus on you. It's pretty much like he's just swatting him like a fly. You can tell Vader doesn't care anything about the non-force users in the room at this point. Okay. That's it for Graz, because I enacted Wookiee Rage. He moved, he attacked. Uh, five would be Harani. Hmm. Uh, I should have yelled at the beginning of my last, or the end of my last turn, but I know you got a lot in front of you, but that other side of the room needs some people. Which saber are you attacking him with? Uh, I was going with the Jedi Killer. Smart thinking. We'll switch over to the Kraid saber, which is the same thing. It doesn't really matter. But flavor-wise, she's going to swing with the other hand this time. She's going to go after him again. I mean, literally, there's not much. Plus, if I keep if I keep pushing him this way, those stormtroopers are going to leave me alone. As long as Vader thinks that I'm like, you know, playing his game, maybe they'll leave us alone. Well, leave you alone. <laughs> That's all that matters. Uh, so she's gonna <laughs> she's gonna attack him again. I can't say things. <laughs> Please give me. Want to go? Yeah, maybe. Hey, thirty-five. That is a hit. Twenty-seven. Okay. Uh, ooh, good roll. Good roll. Brandon Sprainer does not know how to defend against the lightsaber for the record. He, he is just getting way laid. Getting <laughs> way on. Shannon, when you rock your chair, we start to see a green ring. I know. <laughs> I know. 
Anything else? Um, you have a Swift left. Kind of want to impel uh, Sigurd to get the fuck away from Darth Vader. He's being choked. Does that matter? I mean, well, <laughs> that's confusing because technically I would think it should, but it doesn't. But also at the same time, if you move in more than one square, well, actually, you can't shift him. Yeah. Uh, well, no, you're giving a move action, so he can move as much as he wanted, but if he moves more than one square away from Vader, Vader gets an opportunity attack. Which is with his lightsaber. You know, <laughs> the thing he did 66 damage with. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but if I... But if I move him one away, then Vader would have to move forward to attack him again, right? That would take up his move action. Which, yeah, I mean that that might be handy in case you know he's got some that, move. That there. is, for the record, you you are just giving your move action to Sigurd. He does what he wants with it. Right. That's how that power works. Right. So I can't actually tell him where to go. I mean, you you can you can talk about it. I'm not saying you. It, you know, your same room could mail out directions to him, but but yeah, if you, the the boy the power works, you're giving him a move action. He then chooses to do what he wants to do with it. Um, she's going to as a swift action. I want to switch the button on the blaster saber and turn it into a blaster. Okay, and that's it. So you're one handing each thing. Yeah. So I've got a, the gun in one hand and the saber in the other. Okay, got it. Uh, then six is Raynard. I don't know why I keep forgetting that. Uh, Raynard is, once again, he's going to move this way this time. Mm. Take a step back. He's moving to the comfort of those stormtroopers, and he's going to try to shoot you once more. Your reflex is 38. 38. Yeah, he's not going to hit on a 10. Um, he's getting concerned now. You're making moves, and, and, and he's hurt, and... and Things are not going well for him now. The the like commands are a little more like pleading. Like it's a little more like, look, I'm trying to do you a favor. Like I tried to help you. This was all for you. Do you not understand that? That's all. That's all he's got because the inspire thing was only a, a one time deal. It lasts for the rest of the encounter. Um, then seven, Iris. I am going to go ahead and aim at the uh, troopers and do another rapid shot into them. Okay. 35. I feel like that's got to be a hit, but let me just go make sure. Yes, that's a hit. Sweet. Yeah, because that's the fun part. With force grip, they don't take any detriments in anything other than they can't take action. <laughs> so despite them theoretically being dummy targets and since i got to aim this time i get to add another damage die i, I need you to go ahead and mow all these guys down hunter i'm starting to that's, think that's what I'm, I'm i'm trying i'm thinking we're not going to get this battle done tonight 37 oh yeah we are are you sure because <laughs> it's 10 o'clock already and, and no one is dead sure what? that one imperial guy that died one imperial is dead <laughs> <laughs> he died first got it he sure did. And Anything we'll else? end up with battle analysis again. The troopers are now below half health. Uh, the blue guard that you can see is not below half. Hmm. Uh, oh, you can see red because the hollow table doesn't defend that against that. Uh, red is below half health. And I think that's it because Harani and Raynard keep moving in such a way that you don't get line of sight to him. Okay. Well, she no, can no, look no, no, the table. No, no. Yeah. Yeah, well, okay, so what it was was before it's the red guard was blocking him. Now that's not the case. Uh, Raynard is also below half health. So basically everyone you can see except for Vader and the blue guard. Okay. When you when you yell, Actually, that, when you yell that out, you Ronnie grins. Kids, so. Yeah, okay. um, and uh, Sigurd Graz and uh, Kruskog get plus one to their reflex defense. Harani, you are out of range, unfortunately. No, I'm not. Who did? You you have to be six spaces, and I can't walk through the thingy. <laughs> yeah, look, one, two, three, just within three, six squares? Four, five. It, it has to be within six squares. It does not have to have line of sight. I'm in six squares. Yeah, she's within six squares. Yeah. Okay, well then, yeah, you get it too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's only five between the two of you. Yeah, don't cheat. Me. I, just did, I didn't know if, like, objects counted for... 
in, the, in this case, these are hollow tables. They prevent line of sight. It's not. Okay. It's not well, a line movement. of sight they has nothing to do area. with it. Okay. Yeah. No, okay. Then, cool. Yeah. Well, then, yeah, they each get plus one. Got it. To reflex. Yes, reflex defense. Okay. Got it. Anything else? Uh, that's it. I I got nothing else. Kruskog, you're up. Uh, Kruskog's going to keep doing the support mechanism he's been doing. He's going to keep trying to hold these guys still. Okay. That's about all he can do. 33. I assume that's going to let go of those guards. Yeah, against Fortitude? Yep. Yeah, it's going to lose them. Hey, you got any other force points? I got one more. Might as well. Hey. <sighs> yeah. Let's roll that last one. Eight. At an so eight. 41. That'll hold him. Okay. Jedi. Cruz Cog's struggling. Like he is, he is expending a lot of energy to make sure he is keeping uh-huh. all these. It's not very often he gets to do multiple manipulations at the same time, so this is certainly taxing. But he is uh, also not very often. You're out of force points before everyone else. Oh, I know. Oh, I don't like it. Here we are. <sighs> Man, I'm, you got to move in a swift. I, uh, you know what? I am actually. I'm going to move up with Iris. I'm going to step forward. Okay. Basically, I'm going to try to encroach on everybody involved. Okay. And in part Anything because. Else? Uh, not with Swift, but I'm going to yell at <sighs> indeterminately, uh, basically at Harani. Get to the other side. He's not important. Go. This he he know he knows it doesn't matter to her. He understands because he's got enough sense in the force to know that she is battling some things that she has got something specific on her mind. But he also knows the mission at hand is to get this ship contained. Uh, uh, the red troopers are on lockdown. They can't go anywhere. The blue ones are going to fire on Graz. And they rolled a 17, which is Damn. pretty good. But his reflex is also really high right now. Oh, yeah. Was he just got one added to it, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. So he has a 44 uh, to, his, to his reflex. Um, and yeah, indeed, uh, that roll of a 17 plus their bonus is still not good enough to, to get over that. So at this point, it's pretty clear they're just laying down suppressing fire. Right. They're just trying to keep people at bay. Uh, and they can do nothing else. So that ends round three. Top of round four. Sigurd, you're up. You have one swift action. I have no swift actions outside of lightsaber defense. Then lightsaber defense it is. <laughs> All right, um, then it's the guards, both of which are still on lock, so they're going to activate their damage reduction again. Uh, they go really quick. Uh, Vader is going to be three. Is he going to try to maintain his force grip on you? No, nah, because he knows Graz is just going to hit him, so he's just going to try to cut you down. Let's have Vader some fun. Is, this choke is sick. I want to have some fun with my laser stick. I don't, I don't like how quickly oh, that he, happened. He just oh, put it all together. I don't. I don't like that at all. Go, go do, please. I don't like that. Don't right. Right. He was a freestyle rapper in high school. He remembers a couple of rhymes. <laughs> Your reflex total is what? Forty-one. Forty-one. All right. Well, Vader is going to expend his entire turn trying to cut you down. So, that will miss. Um, That will miss. Low number, low number, low number. (laughs) We're flirting here. At least it's a slow increase and not like a 6, 9, 44. (laughs) 6, 18, 28! (laughs) Bingo! <laughs> I don't like the way Hunter's smiling. Yeah, <laughs> he's just smiling three, politely. But it's fine. The third one is going to hit. Yeah, that's Technically, he's swinging his lightsaber, so I... I again, I, you can only take a swift action on your turn, but I guess you can try to block? I don't... I don't see why you couldn't. And that lightsaber... What does lightsaber defense do, actually? It anyway, adds a four. bonus to your reflex. Oh, I get a plus, yeah. plus three. And that scales up. You have to take it multiple times to get more to it. 
do you have to take it more times in terms of a power, not a uh -huh. power while I beat whatever it is? Are you are you gonna try to block? Yeah. Oh, okay. There 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 nope. So the third one is going to hit. Twenty nine damage. Oh, oh. oh, what was the forty eight for? Oh, well, that was without the ten. Gotcha. Nope. That was for something else. Oh. Mm -hmm. Damn, does he get a a uh Yeah. I can't think of the word. Does he not get a negative for attacking a third time? He can't tell you that. No. Oh. I mean, yeah, not not Sorry. specifically. Sorry. I'm I'm handling the math. Don't worry about it. I got you. Okay. Um, that's everything Vader's got in one turn. Graz. Graz is beside Vader. Do you want him to do uh, things against Vader again? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. God. Can, okay. he go, can he do the vendetta again, or is he still in Wookiee Rage? How's that done? No, he only has to do the Wookiee Rage once, so he can he can do personal vendetta and then call out. Yes. Um, yes, please. At this please. point, he can see does, does pretty much up, everybody. Does that give up his move action? Nope. That's a swift. Okay. So he can move, I, too. You want him to move? I'm a hate to be a tactician in this situation, but I we need to get people to those other those other uh, toggles. You guys, That's up there, to you guys. You guys up there playing with stormtroopers. I'm trying to basically clear out as I go. So, so but, you, okay. but you ain't going nowhere. Real quick, real quick, out of character, Hunter, are those terminals up there? Are those all? Are, are those the five terminals we need to turn on? You don't know. You haven't been anywhere near them. That's what I keep telling them, yelling like, "Look at the terminals!" But they're, they're yeah, like, "No, the I, people I are the terminals." The I understand the map. I understand the map shows five, but there are only two Imperial officers, and I highly doubt they're going to just leave two Imperial officers to handle five switches. Besides, we've got the one behind us and the one in front of us, and I don't think we've at least we haven't done a perception check, but we haven't seen anything else to indicate that all five. Well, she she's only checked the one she's standing at. She hasn't checked the one in the corner. I agree. No, no one's no one's looked at that one yet. Graz has a full round here to spend, so <laughs> I will have him do whatever you guys want him to do. Uh, I mean, Graz isn't going to be doing computer checks anyways, so right. But as long as there are not bodies in the way, we need him to clear the path so Harani's ass can get over there. If she's not going to be distracted enough is the problem. He but yeah. Is a plus at this nine point, to use computer. <laughs> at this point, she's the only pawn on the table we got for that side. So you know what? Move Graz. Kill. I don't care if it's Sprainerd. I don't care if it's Stormtroopers. I don't care if it's every fucking officer over there. Yeah, you know, if he runs past Vader, he's going to take an opportunity. Opportunity, an opportunity. But that's up to you guys. <laughs> We're almost at the point we might have to risk that. I'd still just have him attacked Vader. Okay, man. This I mean, is, he can he I'm can sorry, make a six but... move attack to or a six move action, six space move action to War Raynard if that's what you want. He'll take an attack of opportunity from Vader, but that'll still give him a chance to attack Raynard. Can he? And he still do the call if out? That's what you want. Yes, because that's just a swift action. So actually, he could do that first, then run, and Vader takes a minus five to try to hit him. Right. All right, but that, I, I, I'm, I'm just putting it out there. Why not? Let's try it. Just oh, yeah. Iris, you, you better start shooting at Vader at some point. Vader gets the vendetta. Vader is going to swing on him. He's going to miss. Um, so that plays out, and then he's going to rush up on Raider, and he's going to he's going to take in a, a swing. He's going to swing his his hammer. Um, was it plus thirty? Good God, it really is. Nah, uh, he's still gonna hit him. Yeah. <laughs> so with a raise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm ready to do that again. Uh, twenty-five. Damn. Uh, Rainer's gonna die. Just yeah, for the record, yeah. this hit's going to kill him. So, I hope I hope that there wasn't some like big plan for him dying because because basically Harani is just kind of toying with him. He's back into those stormtroopers, thinking he's gonna be saved, and Graz is gonna come racing out of nowhere and just pummel him with that battle hammer. Well, there was a plan. <laughs> I'm fine with it. I don't I, I don't understand what that means, but he's dead. 
If there was a plan, all my plan was just killing him. Hey, he's dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gros basically, Gros basically thinks that you're playing with your food, and so he comes running up and like leaps up and just <laughs> batters this guy. Um, Raynard no. stumbles back, and unless there's something you want from him, I'm gonna have him fall. I'm gonna have him fall through that that deal. Can I can I do a uh, free action just a uh, flavor? Yeah. Uh, when, sure. When Harani sees him kill him and this feeling rushes over and she lifts the lightsaber towards Graz and points it at him and then smiles and says, thanks. Ooh. Oh, he doesn't like that. He even like for probably the first time ever. So Graz hits this guy with his, hits Rainer with his hammer. You see like Rainer stumble back. He catches eyes with you for just a second before he falls. And there's like, there's still no remorse. There's very much like a, what the hell did I do? I was trying to help, and and he tumbles backward. He even gets the the Wilhelm scream <laughs> as he falls. Um, and by the way, that the thanks the thanks she says to him is completely legitimate. It's not like she's threatening him. She she legitimately smiles and thanks him for helping. Graz does, Graz does not take it that way. He he literally turns to you and just just lets out the like every growl, every spittle he's got in him just flies out where he sees pissed basically hey we're both but that's all he's got that's all he's got for his his round in terms of actions and such uh harani you're up oh i can take reinard off he's already off isn't he oh off the list right yeah off my list uh as a free action she's gonna wipe some of the spit from her face and uh it's actually a swift it's god damn it (laughs) <laughs> oh my uh, she's gonna look at the stormtroopers and look towards that way and just kind of shrug at him and say one last time you know one more time for old time's sake and then she's gonna just rush forward um, past the stormtrooper well can I get past the stormtroopers without them attacking me AOC. Vader told him not to attack you so you can get to here all right, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to take a shot at that Imperial officer right there. The one right in front of you? Yeah. Okay. I'm probably going to get gunned down in the back, but, you know, it's the end of the show, so I've had I've had my fun. I've had my arc. <laughs> uh, fucking hell. 27. That's a hit. He's dead. No. Oh, okay. No, it was. Thank you. I'm serious. I don't know why I did that. Hang on. He's still there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like boom. He just vaporized him. <laughs> she, well, well, hold, that's, on, hold that's, on, hold on. He's breaking down. That's because when I hold shot on. him, I pushed the blaster forward to do extra. <laughs> that's impact. how. That's how you go faster. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He's dead. Uh, I don't. I, do you see anything, Ronnie? Anything <laughs> Not that else. we know. But can I? Can I? Can I see things? Um, <laughs> are you blind? I will let. You, are we blind? Deploy the anyway. I will let you spend a swift action to do a perception check. Uh, what are you looking for? Uh, any sign of this tractor beam thing that we can use to shut it down? Okay. You don't want to shut it down. Or turn it on. Turn it on. Turn it on. Thirty. Yeah, that's good enough that you can see that, yeah, there's a series of uh, of terminals where these Imperial Guards are placed, and it looks like they probably have some control over that that uh, that particular part of the, the power. They're kind of scattered around the room. Harani, she just looks at him and goes, well, I'll be damned. The Zabrak was right. <laughs> <laughs> um, as your turn ends, by the way, you hear Vader, everyone kind of hears Vader, turn to those troopers that you just passed, and order them now on you, yeah. Because now the concern is that that you are you are not fully you know turned, and and maybe you need a little tough love. Basically, he yeah. doesn't say that, but that's what it is. That's what I figured. Tough love with a blaster fire. Yep, yep. Do not do not let her succeed. Basically, is what he what he says. Uh, all right. So it would have been Rainer. He's dead. Iris, you're up. No, his turn was screaming. Okay. That was a swift action. Uh, and his move action was falling down. The, or as you uh, know, he's still falling. Yeah. <laughs> so the uh, the group of troopers is still choked, correct? The Koopa troopers. The group, of, group of troopers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hang on. I got to go to the group chat real quick. 
<laughs> group of troopers. Okay, so since troopers. all they have is a swift, I can technically go past them without them attacking me. Nope. Nope. <laughs> not okay, well works. then I'm gonna do it what I did last time. It only affects their turn. Okay, well I'm gonna do yep. what I did last time, and I'm gonna aim and rapid shot into them. Okay. Yeah, because if it works for you guys that way, it has to work for them that way no, too. Fair enough. That's why I asked before I did something stupid. But what if you so your cheated name is now for group us. of troopers? <laughs> You have no idea how many times I've already Please cheated. Stop making for me you. laugh. I'm gonna go out and <laughs> 36. stalk Lenny and Carl. Thirty six is a hit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, that's a hit. Yes. Laughing makes me forget what numbers I have to type in, and it's not good. <laughs> six six six. Thirty seven damage this time. In a row. All right. <laughs> At a time. I knew it was coming. Oh, I knew it was coming. Every time, Hunter. Every time. <laughs> yeah, well, try not to shoot any stormtroopers on your way to the parking lot. <laughs> Gonna. My Bothan <laughs> shot 37 stormtroopers. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, battle analysis, even though I don't think it's going to change. The red troopers are below half. Vader is not. Um... The Imperial Guard, the red one is, the blue one is not, and yeah, the other, the blue troopers haven't been shot, so yeah, nothing has yep. changed. Gotcha, we're good, um, and yeah, again, uh, Cruz Cog, Sigurd, one, two, three, four, five, and Graz, get a plus mm -hmm. one. Plus one. Got it. And me. All right. Mm -hmm. You are at the six squares. <laughs> <laughs> Cruz Cog, you're if up. If I can get these stupid troopers dead. A group of troopers. Group of troopers. A stupid group of troopers. <laughs> oh, boy. Tell me, just, just quickly, would I know how uh, lightsaber pikes are powered? Yeah, I would assume so. You know how a light whip is powered. That's that's as exotic a lightsaber as, as a pike would be. Yeah, okay. I need to... So it just dawned on me what I might be able to do, but I need to confirm if I can or not. And you are can too. Uh, that boy. is the question. Uh, Hunter, I'm going to ask because it doesn't say anything. Uh, Multi-target power, as I can see, doesn't have a limit in terms of, like, per encounter or per anything. Is that a four secret? Yes. Yeah, I think that's just how that works. Don't you mean you it's, a, to... it's a force secret? <laughs> yeah, it's as many, as many times as you have... Um, Means to execute it? Force or destiny points, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Which means you can do one more with one destiny point. Uh huh. That's because here's the thing. I don't think I want to grip them. But that's been so good. They have not attacked anybody. And here's the thing, though. We are running out of time to keep these tractor beams up. But the moment you stop gripping them, all three of them are gonna beat Tanner down like a fucking pinata. Not if I disarm all of them. You know what? It's the last episode. Let's go for it. Whatever crazy bullshit you guys want to do, now, do it. For the record, on that one, I would say you have line of effect to the stormtroopers and blue. I see. I would Vader. Uh, well, let me ask because I would be able to move, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, because I'd take a, I'd take an attack of opportunity from him because my thought was to go down six so that I could see. Because I'm not terribly worried about these guys. I think Irish can hold her on more. I'm worried about these three and this bunch. But because I know they're going to turn fire on Harani. But if I can get their blasters out of their hands, she's got a chance to do some stuff. Hey, they're stormtroopers. What, what could they do? Yeah. Yeah. Harani, the squishiest member of the party. What can they do? But she's fast <laughs> and she's spunky. <laughs> It's it's really her quirkiness that will keep her going. <laughs> that's what's uh, that's what kept 
Oh, no. She's got a 20 in quirk. Welcome to the Twi'lek zone. <laughs> Only, uh, no. Yeah, no, no. No, stop it. Stop it. Uh, I actually beat a stormtrooper to <laughs> death. Man, shut the fuck up, Vader. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, so painful. Pressure I'll, I'll cook my greasy Wookiee. I'll maintain what I've been doing because I don't have confidence in my force disarm. I'll try to... Uh, here's the thing. We're going to find out real quick because if this doesn't roll high enough, I have no way to keep it going. Yeah, you, you've really been riding the thunder there on this one. Not even the lightning, the thunder. Ooh. Oh, nice. 43. There it is. There it All is. All maintained. Crossed yep. my fingers for you. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to look. Thank you guys for saying it. Okay. Yeah, cool. We're good. I'm, I'm going to keep doing that. Good shit. Anything else? Uh, he's I'm going my... to he's... keep myself where I'm at. No, I'm going to hold still. He's going to need to change his pants. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> oh, hold on. Hold on. I'm breaking down. <laughs> Okay, then uh, obviously the Red Storm Troopers can do nothing. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. These guys are going to move right in Harani's way. Actually, they're going to attack first and then do this movement. I'm just, I don't feel like moving them back. <laughs> they're going to attack first. That's a smart um, move. That's what I would do. Please roll low. Uh, let's see. Your reflex again is a 38. Yeah. Is that right? No, no, 37 now since Iris isn't doing it. 37. Yeah, I'm sorry. I gotta be honest. I know. Um, here's the good news. That is actually a miss. Um, but they are, they're using their, their, uh, oh, what the hell is it called? Force point. No, splash damage. They're, they're, they're hitting an area. Oh, I can't think of the name of the yeah. thing. But they're basically just trying to lay down cover fire first. And then when that doesn't work, so you're only taking half damage on that, they're gonna literally run up in your way. Uh, half damage will be it's not much if it's above six i'm dead no i'm kidding okay. <laughs> uh, half damage is 17 jesus christ yeah that's not much for a guy that has like no that's fine 40 health points <laughs> Gross. And then yeah, and then yeah, they're gonna run up in in your way. Oh, uh, he's coming! <laughs> he's you send that Wookie. All right, what did you say it was? Hussein, that Wookie. Seventeen. 17. 17. All right, 17. let me do some math. Hold on, hold on, up. hold on, wait. Hold, hold on, on. Hold I'm on. doing some math here. I'm breaking down. Hold on. That's it for them. Math so I'm gonna go ahead hard. and get back to the top with Sigurd. Plus, I got one percent on my battery. So. Sigurd is Sigurd is taking mm. a nap. Wait, still... How did we solve your mouse issue last time? Wait, hold you're on. Not gripped. Yeah, but so you're not gripped anymore, Tanner. No, 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 Lindsay, it's fine. I just need to charge it. I just need to find my cable. No, he so, relinquished the grip so that I he need. can swing on you. So, uh, I have the Ataru lightsaber skill. I was hoping Tanner uh, was going to say, I'm going to use force suicide. That's where <laughs> I... <laughs> force out of I'd, like to, I'd like to use sever force on myself. <laughs> <laughs> I say I like to use four suicide. Take all the side points. <laughs> uh, lightsaber form Ataru. You may add your dexterity bonus instead of your strength on damage rolls in wielding a lightsaber. Uh, when you wield a lightsaber two handed, you may apply double your dexterity instead of double strength. So I'm gonna start utilizing that now, and uh, okay. I'm gonna two hand strike red here. Okay. I'm so happy I'm group of troopers, by the way. I expected group it, but seeing it confirmed. And you're the red well, you group You were Black Belt Jones, and I don't remember why oh, good that shit, was a thing. Oh, good shit, Black Belt Jones is one of those two black exploitation films with the actress that, that Jaden was upset about yes. last week that I didn't remember. Who that ninja? I'm trying to remember. That's from 30 Rock. Who that ninja? God damn it! Tracy Morgan bit. I guess it's 30, 36. 36 damage. And a He's dead. Yay! Yeah. As soon as they let that okay. grip loose, they let you off the chain. You only so, got 35 hit points anyway. Oh shit. Hang on. So, I uh, I know it's probably going to give him an attack opportunity, but I'm going to try to get the fuck away from him. Where, where are you going? I'm going to head towards Graz. 
Okay, so if you're leaving them both, they're both going to get an attack of opportunity on you. I wouldn't do that. The blue one and Vader. Ooh, can I take my lightsaber defense and then do it? Uh, yeah, I guess. I don't know how that works. I assume so. So that would put me back know. at a 41. So, I mean, lightsaber I'm willing defense to... defense is just a, a Jedi talent, right? Yeah. I, I don't see why not. It feels like an end of thing, but I don't I don't think you have to do it that way. Uh, what the hell tree is it? I forgot. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's until the start of your next turn, so yeah. Okay. So lightsaber defense, and I'm going to try to head towards Graz. Wait, so you want to get to one, two, three. I mean, this is only four. Well, trying to get to Harani then. Okay, so five, six. You want to go to there. Yes. So can okay. Blue do an attack of opportunity if he's choked and he can't attack? Yep. Yep, because that, there's nothing. It only says... It only says on their turn they can only take a swift action. It does not say it prevents. Basically, they're not. The mechanics are not. They're not pinned, grappled, whatever. Um, that that was the other thing with with something that uh, Sigurd was doing. There was something he could do. Like he can still do lightsaber defense because it's a swift action. Right. So, um, yeah, nothing about it says that they're not effectively immobilized, meaning that they they can still do that. So, all right. Well, I'm gonna roll for the shadow guard first. Uh, so your reflex total is? 41. 41. That one's going to miss. Roll for Vader. Small roll, small roll. Woo! That one's also going to miss. Small roll. <laughs> yeah, the, I think basically the last thing they expected was for you to just run. Like, it was, you know, Vader gives that, that very <laughs> like, classic what the hell? <laughs> where he did what? <laughs> that little noise and things. You what, mate? Yeah, he, he did not he did not see that coming, and you go flying past. He actually so, switched yep. from James Earl Jones' voice to David Prowse's voice during that moment. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> uh, all right, and that's it for your turn, then, right? That's it. It's Hayden Christensen no, no, under text, by the way. Black Belt Jesus was because of Marla Gibbs because her first. No, you were Black, Black Belt, Belt Jones. Yeah, Black Belt Jones and Sweet Moses Preacher Man or Sweet Jesus Preacher Man. Gotcha. So it was Marla Gibbs. Marla Gibbs. Right. See, there it is. Damage reduction for blue. He can do nothing else. He's still choked. Um, Vader now seeing that people are like actively running. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't bring him over here. He's gonna. <laughs> uh, Vader is going to slowly stalk. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm um, toward Graz and Sigurd. He's going to throw four slam think rebuke yeah. <laughs> rebuke rebuke you you can certainly try he's got to actually do it first though yeah you go ahead and do that i'm gonna be ready because even with okay. four slayer well i mean if he takes half damage i may not do it i don't if know if that's how that works damage. man i think you have to declare it at a certain point tanner's ready to push the goddamn button well no because if he misses then i mean if he okay all right shannon calm down little girl from uh I don't, have to call, I don't have to call rebuke until I know it hits. Yeah, but you do have to call it before he rolls damage. All right, that's fair. Push the yeah. goddamn button. Yeah. Push the goddamn okay. button. You hey, heard her. Hey, so, she said. can he get? Can he get her on? No. So Hopefully, God, I hope not, Tanner. That you just brought Darth <laughs> Vader on all of us. Two, three, four, five, six. Well, we're coming to the cum zone. I don't like how I said that. Uh, no, it's like just going to get you. And, it's just going to get you and Graz. Um, That'd be awesome. If, so... It would have been awesome if Tanner had done that, and he would have just killed Harani like inconsequentially, just like what's not your, even thinking about it. What's your fortitude, Sigurd? Thirty-four. Mm, Thirty-four. I forgot round four ended as well. Thirty-four. Okay. Yeah, that's going to get you. Um. It is surprisingly not going to get Graz. He has a 43 fortitude. So, Okay, so I'm going to try a rebuke. Okay. 32. That's not good enough. He, I've got rolled, a higher, he rolled higher than that. Yeah, I figured. He figured, Sigurd. You know what? Uh... 
hell with it. I'm going to use that last force point. Now, you didn't just use a force point on your turn, did you? No. Mm -mm. Okay. Just making sure. Six thirty-eight. That is not good enough. Fuck me. I hate Darth Vader. Oh. You know, unfortunately, I feel like that's the impression we're supposed to get. <laughs> he, is the, he is the Dark Lord of the Sith. Good Lord. Right. Yeah, and even though this is prior to New Hope, I mean, he's still pretty well, far well, up the chain at this I, point. I mean, wouldn't this be Darth Vader in his prime, honestly? In a lot of ways, yeah. Hey, here's the good news. Both of you were only taking 12 damage. So Graz is down to 205 hit points. Oh, oh no. Oh, you poor bastard. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, the worst down, part is that you're both knocked prone. I'm down to 31. Wait, I thought you said it missed Graz. No. Oh, you did say oh, yeah, it missed Graz. Yeah, it did. So then he actually only takes six damage. <laughs> so he's still at 211 hit points. Oh, you poor bastard. Oh, sorry, I already did that. And he's also not knocked prone. Yeah. So you, you take the full prone. force of it and you knock prone. <laughs> yeah, I was just, I got to throw something on there so I don't forget. I've got 31 points left and I'm just. On a scale out, like, of. End on, it now. On a scale of one to your max hit points, how do you feel in game? We have to keep it in game. Then I'm going to have it move to here. That's not good. Yeah, uh, that's worse than if he chased us. <laughs> Uh, and now he's going to throw his four slam at you two. Yep. That's fine. They have basically been, uh, they've been living rent free. So living la vida loca. Wait, well, he's what are you fortitude? He's getting two attacks. I'm getting hit. 33. <laughs> 39. Uh, actually. Yeah. Iris will. Chris Cog won't. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You say 33. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you will. He won't in terms of damage. So once again, uh, Kruskog, you take six damage. You're fine. Iris, you take 12. You are knocked prone. Mm. That is it for Darth Vader. Every time Vader gets up to bat, I just in my head I go, help me, help me. <laughs> Graz is up. I assume I understand what you guys want him to do, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Yes. Just swing through the entire group like a fucking set of a bunch of gnats. That's what he's gonna try to do, basically. Um, and with a plus thirty to hit, yeah, that's going to hit. It was a forty-one. Uh, My God. Yeah. Yeah. The boy is extremely strong. That's what he's got. That's basically it. But he he can do that. 36 damage to them. Even with a min-max damage roll, it's still 36 damage. Um, he could do his call-out, too, but 12 squares at this point, the only ones he can affect are the troopers and Vader. Oh, and the, the blue guy. Because it's got to be... He can't see the other ones. That's fine. I'd say that's fine. Yeah. Who gets the main designation? Vader. 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 Did it's you, always done. Vader. And you did take okay. that into consideration when you did his attacks, right? Okay. I know you did, but like you do it to us, so I gotta, I gotta <laughs> ask. I have to ask. I, I appreciate it. Yeah, okay. no, that's why I'm making notes. You should. I will. I'm gonna do this real quick. Uh, you can't see it's it. We trust okay. you. We trust you. Yeah. Yeah. I see there's lots of numbers. <laughs> numbers. Yeah. Too quick. Oh, uh, two calculators open. I got an 11 hour Gras, shift tomorrow. Graz is out. Uh, well, just hold on, hold on to your butts, Harani. You're up. Uh, she is going to. Um, take aim at the guy on the right and I am going to take aim at my mouse to see if I got enough battery to click back on the box I did all right so so for the record you are currently adjacent to an enemy if you take a ranged attack they get an attack of opportunity take a step back but is there attack of opportunity also a ranged attack at point Not blank if you just take one okay. 
No, no, no. I mean, like, if if I if I attack the guy on the right and they get an attack of opportunity to me, isn't an attack of isn't it a range shot at point blank range? Or am I wrong about that? Is there like a penalty? There, there would be under normal circumstances. Yes. Okay. Not for a not for a squad. Uh, then yeah, I'll step back one if I can do that to here. I'm guessing that's fine. Actually, yep. uh, actually, no, no, no. Can I go uh, diagonal this way so I'm I'm covered behind there in case Vader throws his lightsaber at me or something? Yeah. To here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then I'm going to shoot yeah, that guy. That. Okay. Fuck. It's a 21. It's also a critical fail. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, your uh, your oh, blaster jams up. That's a clutch attack right there, isn't it? Right when I need it. Yeah, yeah, your blaster jammed. You can spend the rest of your turn clearing it. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Uh, Raynard's dead. Iris, you're up. I'm gonna get up. Yep. So I'll take your pink dot away. And I'm going to take another rapid shot at these troopers because I need them dead. <laughs> oh, the wait a minute. The red ones are... No, never mind. Okay, we're good. We're good. You're good. Oh, you almost God got a damn one. it. <laughs> oh, 27. Yeah, that was too close. That is a miss. And I'm going to use my second lucky shot of the day to do it again. Hmm. 31. That is a hit. And we get... Dead air. 33 damage. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, they're dead. (laughs) Okay. And nothing else has changed, so I'm just going to leave it at that, (laughs) because... Blue hasn't okay. taken any more damage, and we know damn well Vader's not there. So, <laughs> has anyone hit Vader at all yet? Graz, yeah, Graz hit him like that's right. Him. Yeah, Chris Cog, you're up. <clears throat> Man, so the people I'm holding is becoming far diminished because literally the only person left is Blue. You, you let him go. Check those terminals. I gotta go up and take care of this homeboy first. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. I know he's going to come for me, but that's all we got right now. Uh, come for me. Welcome to the. Now that these have dropped zone. dead, do I get a per, do I get a perception check? I, I think I know what the thing is at this point, but basically, I just want to see what? if there are any other terminals here aside from the one behind door number two. Yeah, you can spend a swift action to do that. Okay, I can do that. It was a mistake to come here. Obviously. 30. Yeah, the the remaining Imperial officer has been desperately trying to power down uh, a tractor beam from the looks of things. Dick, heir to the cum throne. That's spelled (laughs) C-O-M-E. Is that that what it is? Pressure cook my greasy Wookiee. I don't like that. I I don't like it. Nope. You got to move in a standard. I sure do. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, I'm going to, I'm not going to go after him because unfortunately we need to have some defensive stuff going on. I'm going to go ballistic kinesis. I'm going to throw some debris toward, uh, well, shit. I'd say a two by two square. It's a two by two square area, so it would either hit blue or Vader, but not what, both. What happened to that uh, bullshit you, earlier about we gotta stop the terminals and now you Yeah, you know what? Right. All right, ballistic kinesis on this guy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Point. Cody, I'm sorry. Fuck. Cody, Fuck please. Okay. <laughs> Go for broke. Go for broke. Hey, whether we live or die, we gotta stop them. Remember? All right, ballistic kine- yeah, that's, ballistic that's, kinesis on his guy. That's a Ronnie so. using the force to fucking yell at you this time. Since you that's yelled right. at her. Swings and roundabouts. Ballistic Kinesis for a 35 against his reflex defense. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, okay, yeah, because it's 3d8 bludgeoning, piercing, or slashing. <laughs> nice. He's dead. 
Cool. You hit him. He's dead. All right. So that means I got a move action left. Mm-hmm. I'm running that terminal. I don't think I can okay. do anything this turn, but you can't. No, because you now know from Iris it requires a standard action to actually do anything. But yeah, you can see that from this terminal, you can see that there are four tractor beams still uh, powered down at this point. This guy basically just finished his work, kind of died on it, like died on the lever and just pulled right. it down like a dead man switch. Um, one of the five is 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 reactivated, but the other four, it won't be enough to hold it. Uh, and then... Final group for that round, that would be the Stormtroopers who are going to move back from Graz. They are going to lob a frag grenade that'll go right there to get the both of them. That's greasy balls right there. Yeah. <laughs> now, you know that's what that is. Um, where the hell is the damage? Oh, there we go. That was weird. Okay. Uh, Reflex, Harani, you have 38? Is that 30, right? 37. 37. Okay. Oh! <laughs> yes. Thank God. Now the real question is, where does the grenade go? Behind him. I'm gonna, I would say they fumbled it. They damaged themselves with it. Yes. It's like I, when you're bowling and it falls behind you and heads back to everyone in the gallery rather well, than down the alley. They they ask... Oh, they he, ask throws, he, pull, he pulls the pin and accidentally throws the pin. They ask Simple Pete to do it. <laughs> Simple Pete does exactly that. And they're like, why did we ask Simple Pete to do that? <laughs> 31 damage. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, it didn't kill him or anything, but it damn, killed. It, certainly... it killed Simple Pete. He's gone. <laughs> they dropped it. Dropped it right there in front of him. Pa Boom. Okay. Um, that is the end of round five. Boy, that was fucking at this. Lucky. No. At, at uh... this point, um, Iris, your comlink crackles to life again. Uh, Lady Aldrete, who is a, once again, you can hear the sounds of battle behind her, like starship fighting. Um, whereas before she was fairly calm and confident, but but shouting more or less orders. Now it's desperate. She's she's asking actively, "What the hell is going on in there? That thing's gonna jump any second. We have some serious problems. We are on it. I just just have faith in us. <clears throat> I certainly hope you do. And then before she finishes what she says, you hear like blast explosion. <sighs> Static. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, I had to go up there and mess and with And that is where we're going to stop for tonight. We're oh. going to stop mid battle. Uh, I don't want to, but also. I know, right? It's a Gotta long it. shift. It's Gotta a long it. shift. Yep. Got to be done. All right, that's where we're calling it for this evening on a, a very cliffhanger ending for the first time in some time um, for the Star Wars Dawn of Defiance campaign. Uh, real quick, Shannon, tell them what else they can expect this week and, and all that other stuff we were talking about at the beginning of the show. Uh, well, sir, you're going to have a couple things this week. We got an all new Pro Wrestling Inscripted tomorrow. We were going to have an all new After Dark on Thursday. And you never know what's going to happen this weekend. We might we might party. We might do I Want to Believe. We might do horse. Well, we probably won't do horse time. But we'll probably do something. So you at least got those next two episodes. And then next week, we got a whole bunch of new shows. And yeah, again, if you if you haven't heard any of all the new stuff, if you haven't checked out the website in a while, podzilla1985.com, uh, the official first episode of The Inquest is up, as I mentioned last week. If you're uh, into Game of Thrones, if you're not into Game of Thrones, I think you might find it interesting. Uh, I have not started writing the next one, but I have decided on a topic, so I'll let you know about that soon. I'm hoping to have one out uh, once a month, if I can help it. That's my current schedule. I don't think I can manage more than that. Um, but yeah, lots of lots of stuff to check out and catch up on. Uh, guys, when we come back your way next week, next Tuesday, it's part two of this thrilling encounter with Darth Vader in the Star Wars Dawn of Defiance campaign. Episode 10, Jaws of the Sarlacc continues. How much longer can our heroes hold out? You'll have to tune in then to find out. Until then, for Shannon, for Lindsay, for Tanner, and for Cody, I am your Game Master Double H. May the Force be with you. We'll see you next week. Later.